Welcome to the Vibrant. Do you see what's going on in Ye- in um, Yellowstone? You was just there in Yellowstone. You know, yeah, you, bro. Yellowstone oh, is like, falling they're, they're apart. On, we're on fire. Yeah, it's, I mean, bro, bro, it's underwater right now. Like, roads are disappearing. Houses are literally, like, coming down right I'm as we speak. Off. For real? Yeah. Yes, bro. Man, but, yeah, talking to Mike for me. Bro, listen, listen. Like, have you seen a 2012? Yeah. The show, it's, you know, they're starting in, like, Yellowstone, right? It's, it's the same shit. Ain't nobody talking about global warming, yo. Like, it, it is literally, Yellowstone is falling apart right now. I feel right like now. that's global warming. It, it's like an old conversation these days. But, they, but yeah, why? Yeah, I know, I mean, it should be like, yo, we should really be like you said, it, other priorities is just, is just stacking up. Yeah, I don't know why. But literally, literally I, don't, I don't think the earth is going to be here in like 10 years. <laughs> now, that's a little drastic. My 10? Boy. 10. 10. My nigga, you get, I, okay, 20. Maybe 20. Nah, I would at least say. Bro, you like. You got to get up 100 years. God dang. 50 is like the lowest I can Yeah, the 50 is the lowest I can is, Bro, we'll still be here. We'll so, like, literally, if it's going in 50, that means shit's going to start happening in, like, that 10, 20, oh, wait, 30. Wait, 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 wait. That made me think now. I wonder, did that, is that everything that happened? Is that the same thing that happened to all the other planets? That's why ain't no life on them bitches. Probably. <sighs> I mean, well, well, the reason why there's no life on other planets no, is I'm because saying of this, the actual sun. No, is. listen to what I'm saying, though. You said it's because Look, of the planets. I'm telling all, you, the we reason all why don't know. Even the, the smartest motherfucker, even uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he might he know a lot of shit. He's the smartest, probably the smartest person in the world. Okay, but he could not <laughs> be so super certain mm-hmm. what the fuck happened to other planets and why they that way. What is, I am saying is though they could have had some type of life a gajillion billion fucking years ago. Well, then you got to find life, is what I'm saying, because like literally, the life on, is a life. Is, uh, let me finish, bro. Life. Let me finish. Like, literally, Earth is the only... F- the distance from it is, like, from the sun. Earth is the only place that can sustain but, water. Then, all the time, what I'm telling you is, you know what? A planet could have been in front of Earth a gajillion years ago. Before, if it was in front of Earth... And blew back on some other shit. If it was in front of Earth, it wouldn't have been... Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. If it was in front of Earth, it would have been too close to the sun, is what I'm saying. So it wouldn't be able to hold water. It's like but what I'm, I'm saying. Well, no, what I'm telling you, Earth could have been moved back. No, I'm saying Earth was moved back somewhat, and the other planet was there, and they got their shit kicked. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't think Earth... If anything could go, niggas made up dinosaurs. You believe that shit? Yes. If you crazy as hell. You what? telling me how? What you mean how? We have evidence that dinosaurs were here. We have all right, all right. <laughs> What's the we evidence? Have... Fossils, bones, carbon data. It's like, that's the thing. Right or wrong? Am, am, am I tripping? So, uh, <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right, hard no. evidence. But this is, I mean, hard, really... this is my question, though. All right. When up? they take a, a leg of one dinosaur and then they come up with a whole thing, and now this bitch got a whole few, a history. He got a whole past off of one bone they found. That's how I'm just be so confused. Now, I just watched, it's went not to just watch off Jurassic a bone. Park It's just not off a bone. I mean, like, I'm, if you've seen Jurassic Park, the original one, you remember that mosquito nah, that they found? Remember that? This, but, and that I'm was, talking about real, I'm talking about real life. I'm I mean, about, but that but I'm saying happen, the, outside of the rest part, so it made me just think of the dress world today. So, but yeah, all did of, you see was a fire? I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with that joint. Okay, okay, bet. I can't wait. And I, I like, see that yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, but anyways. Uh, anyways. I, see, I look, like them on the movies. I just, it's just hard for me to really believe that shit. Believe what? Me and Chris Long have this conversation. Global warming or, uh... No, no I love... Dinosaurs. You know, I dinosaurs, nigga. Right, no, it's not hard for me to believe that shit. Not at all. Wait, so what do you think those fossils are? Yeah, what you think? Like, they just made some No, bones? I think they fossils. I just don't think they dinosaurs. They could be fucking whole animal, other animals, nigga. Like, like what? Anything. The fuck are you talking about? A dinosaur. Who, but, but, but how? But why? Who said it can't be something? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, you can't what be else? So, you can't be so this straight-minded. What on else is what, what I'm asking you? you be like, I just told you a whole fuck. Just the same way it was an animal. It was a thing. A whole nother animal. So you don't like the name dinosaur? Oh, my God. If it was called something else? All right, welcome back to Raw. This motherfucker nigga get on my nerves now saying some stupid ass shit. And I know you wondering. No, bro. No, you, bro. No, no, listen no. to what you just said. This it nigga could be said, another so you animal. don't like saying, the word dinosaur. What the fuck are you talking what, about? Nigga what, ain't never said no crazy shit like this. What kind of animal then are you talking about? Like a different animal. Are you talking about something something that we already know exists or something that does not exist? That's what the fuck? You talking about something about Bigfoot, nigga? No. What you talking, talking about, about that does not like what are you, bro, stop. I'm done with it. Cause you just got she just so straight. You the third grade got you. When she was talking to you about dinosaurs, you took that book and just <gasps> 
and you just stuffed it in your face and you was all in. Bro, I don't you give a fuck say. what you talking what about. Are you, I'm hey, asking you, what are you bro, saying? Why you want to keep on pressing the because, goddamn, like, yo, bro? Like, I'm, t- I'm trying to I'm trying to. I just told you, you, you keep on taking my shit and going the other way. Oh, you don't like the word that? Nigga, I said an animal. Fuck, nigga, take your mind and take it to where I just said. It can be another animal. You keep on be like, no, dance so dance so dance so dance. Nigga, open your eyes and just go in this imagination with me, nigga. Damn. You keep on wanting to be so bro. in the book. Darren's Fuck got the to book. the points where he just be screaming, fool. Nigga. I, 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 <laughs> bro, you just talking <laughs> crazy. Bro, Face. <laughs> Faye, you got to intervene because this nigga just got the blind. He got the blinders on. This nigga's a street horse. You a carriage right. horse, nigga. Okay. That's how you acting right now. I got you. You don't see shit. You just... Dude, now you got me acting out of control. Oh, we ain't even started yet. Yeah. <laughs> I got I damn, see, bro. I see, that is what's got now you people, now, up. people that really seen me get upset with it. All the other time I was. And now you, because you just take, I don't even fuck about these dinosaurs no more. Because now you just took my words and just said some other shit, bro. I didn't say nothing about your you words. First thing you took my... What did I say? Tell me what I said. I kept on repeating what you said about three times. I said it, and I said it once. I only said... I said and I repeated what you said. Well, if you let me finish my point, I'll tell you what I said. I said, okay, you said it can be a different kind of animal. And I'm asking you... You said what? I said anything, nigga, anything. If you can't take your so imagination to any specific? other fucking animal, then I just don't understand what you're thinking then. I just don't understand. You well, can't... I, are you not a child no more? Do you not have an a imagination? Well, I mean, like, a dinosaur Caleb, is we going over to Hey, this is Caleb. Y'all welcome Caleb <laughs> in this up? bitch. Because I'm done. <laughs> Okay. This nigga, dog. What's Taylor, up, bro? do you What's understand up, what I'm saying? That can you, I know you say you believe in dinosaurs. I understand it, and I'm with you on that. I hear you. Uh-huh. Now I'm telling you, when they found some, it could have been anything. Well, I I kind of understand what you mean. That's all I'm saying. But it, go back, ahead. Now back, you can. But now, back then, uh, dinosaurs weren't dinosaurs. They were just animals. Exactly. Animals now, millions of years from now, the, a yeah. deer is a dinosaur now. Exactly. I feel you. I don't, it's not that's about the fuck. That's what I was saying. Yeah. That's it's what not, I was saying. Yeah. That's, that's exactly no, what I was saying. Like, you didn't I mean, say like, that. You didn't say that. You exactly. didn't say that. You didn't say that. You did not say that. Okay, go ahead, bro. You did not say that. He's not going to let me finish my stuff. Did you, I, did he say I did that? say he that. He did not say that. Faye? I you gotta did. get a look at Caleb. I'm gonna keep on looking at Caleb, and he's gonna be like, hey, I ain't gonna say this shit for real. Bruh, I did. That's what I said. I was like, to your to to his point. Hey, why, bro? Look, 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 look. I don't like, give I mean, a fuck if you believe in dinosaurs or not, nigga. I'm not I don't talking give about the nobody, actual... anybody, anybody listening, any fucking roommate. I don't yeah. give a fuck if you believe in dinosaurs or not. Oh, you like saying, saying that could have been a different sh- animal. Don't speak for me. Okay, say less. Go ahead, bro. If you believe in dinosaurs, and if you, I don't give a fuck if you, nigga, if you a scientist himself, herself, mm. all I'm saying, if you can't listen to a motherfucker, just be like, hey, I can see how you might, just the same way he just fucking said. You over here, like, no, 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 no. You don't like the word dinosaur? Oh, no. That's just, how? You just, like, bro, God damn, the same way they make up fake shit on every movie, nigga. The same way they have the imagination to be like, oh, it might could be something else. The fuck, like, how the fuck you gonna tell me that I gotta believe that? And you can't just take yourself to the side. That's like the same way with the global warming. It's a motherfucker out there that don't believe in that shit. But you can't tell me that you can't, if you can't say that you can't step in their in they, in they shoes on their corner and just look at it from their, even if you don't get, if you, if you don't agree, it don't matter. I never disagree with you, though. <laughs> the first thing you did was disagree, bro. I did not. <laughs> right, Faye, go ahead and do that rewind shit. <laughs> it was an animal. It was a thing. A whole nother animal. So Nigga, you don't the like the you name talking? dinosaur? I did not say nothing about believing. I said, like, it's the the actual word itself. Because to Caleb's point but, is where I'm I, going with, like, <laughs> anything could be an actual, quote, unquote, like, I guess dinosaur was like an actual word. Yeah. Like, if it was a thousand years uh, ago, it could have been bro, anything. You trying to do what I'm saying. Anything. This is where I keep on. It could have been anything. That's what I said. <sighs> Faye, did I not fucking say that? It could have been anything. But, did I not say that, nigga? But you, but you have to call did it I something. Not, I no, guess no, 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 no. Did I not say that, though, Yeah, bro. but you have to Thank call it something. No, don't try to tell me what I got to do, nigga. You understood that I called it that. I said it could have been anything. You understood that. And you just said it. I, so I, don't try to tell I me that. I said, oh, well, you should have said it. We're just talking about two different things. We're just talking about two different things, bro. Hell no. You know how First of all, you know how I'm get down on this bitch every time I step on this bitch. We're going to... Get I know. We gonna I get know. Going. I know. So but like, how you can't say no? No. Bro. Give me five minutes, bro. We in our respect. I don't even need five minutes. Dumb ass give minutes me, on this stupid me, ass shit. Give me ten when this shit was supposed to be an I intro do, to some I other stupid shit. I do understand shit. what you're saying. I think we're saying the same thing, just two different ways. I think that's what it is. That's all. Like, I think we're saying the exact same thing. Like, I mean, yes, it was. There was life before us and before tigers and elephants. 
We just happened to call it dinosaurs. But it could have been called Flopalopicus, for a lot I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could have been called whatever. We just used that term, dinosaurs. Does that make sense? Bro, you got me acting wild in front of company, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know sure. what's crazy? What's that? Pyramids are older than woolly mammoths. Exactly. That's, I believe that, How? too. People. Or aliens. See? see <laughs> that's what or I'm aliens. saying. See? Y'all see what the fuck I'm saying? It could have been anything. That's or, or, or. And we could do that all day long. Yeah. That's the whole point of being a podcast. You should just explore the I got you, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead and do the, the intro, it's man. The, I don't even know. Uh, fucked me up. You good, I man. wish we could play music on this bitch like Joe Budden and shit. I could take a 30-second break off of your ass. We can take a 30-second break. No. <laughs> I say that. Fuck. Good right. start, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Great fucking start. I know y'all like, God damn, that shit's stupid. Some of y'all believe you. Some of y'all disagree with me. I, I told you. If you rewind back to six minutes, I said, I don't give a fuck. I don't think nobody disagree with you, bro. But we ain't gotta stay here. Like, but just, why just you get that? I'm trying to intro, bro. Right. God damn. But like, you still try to prove a point. No, I'm not giving a point. I'm trying to intro the fucking pod, bro. I got you. Go ahead, Ethan. Go ahead. I'm quiet. This nigga about to die, and that's what I'm about to get to. Cause I'm gonna kill this nigga. So when he at his funeral, what type of movie you want? That's my first fucking question. I wasn't gonna deliver it like a, that, but now I'm pissed the fuck off. So yeah. You had to pick a movie for your funeral. Don't read it like that, cause now you're reading and that bitch sound like you're reading like a nigga wrote it. Now, now I can't I, deliver that bitch how I want to, but deliver, Caleb, dude, when you go to when you die one day, Caleb, which movie you want at your funeral? Is that a thing? If you had no, I, if you had to. See, that's the thing. See, you didn't get the you ain't got to feel get to feel the energy of a the, the usual start to the part, right? Because usually it's gonna start this bitch with some crazy up in the air, and then I hit you with it in a certain type of pitch. You feel me? I don't get you those straight down line I baseball. Pitch, my bad. He fucked up was, my pitch. That was that was that was my fault, Caleb. The manager. We hell, he ain't the manager no more. We fired his ass. <laughs> the, the president fired his ass. I never knew I was the manager, but I appreciate that. You though. was at the at <laughs> second. You I was. Appreciate that though. Now the goddamn. I got you, hired you, and you, fired I, the same day. Same day. God damn. Now, I would have pitched you that motherfucker. You'd be. Like, oh, Damn, you can <laughs> deliver that bitch like that would have fucked you up. Go but ahead, though. We got it. Instead, we got the old encyclopedia right now, ass nigga that just wrote, read it to you so wrong. But I'm telling you, if you just like feels a thing in the world where instead of them got the reverend, the pastor, the, the the preacher getting up there reading the eulogy, instead of your friends and family coming up, they get to just play a movie. You get to pick a movie, one movie. So just like your favorite movie. Just like anything. If it's your favorite movie, it could have been a movie you like, mm. my life would I that's my life. Like fast and too fast and too furious. I live my life too fast and furious. You might not got shit to do. You might not even have yeah. one of those cars. But you live live, live your life, life fast and furious. Living you, on you know age. You might been goddamn want to be a veterinarian. You goddamn Dr. Doolittle was your shit. Speaking of pitches, Sandlot. That woo! That's a good one. That's a classic. Good shit. Good shit. We like that. That's a classic. All right. What was your thinking of? You might just remember the Titans. Remember the Titans? I mean, well, yeah. we're going to be in the church. I'm bad. It's going to make some people cry in that motherfucker. Remember the Titans? Well, that shit's a movie. Or Friday Night Lights. Slash, slash. Did you like the Friday Night Lights uh, series? Yes. It was fire, too. Yes. It was fire. It was fire. Hey, take All American off of TV, bro. Off of People love All American. That shit's garbage down. I watched the first season. It is slow. That bitch got cornered in them motherfuckers, boy. That bitch got slow. It just be tripping to me, bro, when I be seeing these grown ass people as like high school kids. First of all, they've been in high school for like there, there, forever. Five, but they just not going to college. I don't want to say, did they even make it? God damn. It's like, damn, this fan right here, this young kid has a What movie you got? What movie gonna be? Ah, snap. See Malcolm X. Nah, hell nah. Um, <laughs> shit, if I had a, a movie, uh, it'll probably be honestly. I like funny shit, and I'm I'm a venture. It'll probably be like Rush Hour. Okay, so you are gonna have people in there laughing. Yeah, I, and, and and then too, it's just like one of those things that were like you can always like Rush Hour was like one of the movies that really taught you like a vibe le lesson. Like you always think you need to do stuff by yourself, but you really need like just the right partner in your life. <laughs> And this you, what Jack you went deep with that. Thing. It was though, like real talk, like bro, like like uh, Chris Tucker's character. He was like, man, I don't need no partner. I don't need oh, no yeah, partner. True, but, true, but, true. Man, my dad had no partner. Both of them was like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Then like you know, it was like a match made in heaven for like me and you. Ah <laughs> 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 right, damn! So you bring bro. a bad That's what I'm saying. All right, man. Well, just like we were talking about these these dinosaurs in the world endings and the the. The shits over here and that and all that shit. Let's just say if the world happened to end next Sunday, 
Whatever today, it don't matter what today is. The world in the next Sunday. Yeah, it counts today. I got four days. Next Sunday, not even this Sunday. No, you don't. Uh, next, this. Next, next Sunday. Sunday. Okay, so okay. you got some so time. You got some time to think about it and plan. Okay, All yeah. Right. Okay, what would you do? Like, what what would be in your things to do? You already got a list of yours. Slip. Go ahead, and give yours, so I can kind of gather my. Mine at least got to go like some crazy act, like country, like obviously like Russia, Germany, like some shit that just niggas don't go to. I got, I got to step foot in that hoe. I'm talking, I got to do some Memphis shit in that hoe. Then I got to definitely, I'm going to do. Some real drugs, like 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 Molly, like, like DMT or oh, heroin shit. or some shit like that. <laughs> Why you gonna do that on the Sunday? I'm gonna do like on Saturday. On I would do it on Saturday. It's Saturday before Saturday night. It's, it's, it's Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the party, nigga. Yeah, I definitely do that. Uh, Sheesh, man. I said I probably like sat the police on something like that. What they gonna do? Arrest me? Facts. I mean, you know, like, it'll be like the purge, I feel like. Oh, no, no, we was getting that next. Oh, don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it'll like be it'll like, be like yeah. that, it'll really. Be like, it would be like the purge. It, it would be. Shit, COVID almost turned the pay, purge on toilet paper. It really it did. did. It, it did. It killed toilet paper for a while. It, it did. <laughs> it did. It shit was gone for a little bit. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, I feel like one of the things that I will do is, like, everything that I said that I was afraid to do, I'll just go ahead and do it. But like, that's what I'm saying. I would like, take some any of them Like drugs. skydiving, <laughs> freaking um, they, they think about that ain't happening though. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas it, ain't running any, businesses, they're, my boy. They're, they're going to work. They're going to take you skydiving. No, sir. I'll try to fly a plane then. Hey, well, last thing I do Sunday, yeah. flying a plane. I don't care if I land. You're going to fly that But you can skydive off of it. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Together. That's oh. what I'm saying. Like, bro, I'm going to I'm gonna learn how to fly a plane, bro. Fuck it. Uh, I'm like, look, I'm about to just I put some buttons, man. If I get up in the air, I'm just gonna skydive. Just let them up. You ain't gonna go. never. Oh, if you're like, you don't know. You gonna, <laughs> you gonna at least Google it before you get on? Hey, I'm gonna, yeah, for sure. Say. You too, university, baby. Yeah, you got to. I'm gonna have at least Google something. I'm gonna need at least know like what button to push to get up. You know. <laughs> hey, did you put this lame ass question on there? What? Where do you want your feet at home? No. Who put that on there? <laughs> yeah, I put that in there. That was fucking horrible, Faye. That's a great question, No, though. it's not. It really is. It really is. I, and, like, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. How? Because at my crib, now, like, I've, I've got accustomed to, I don't wear shoes in my house at all. Because, yeah, yeah, you have a kid. I understand. Yeah, but it's not even and that, then, though. Some people just don't like wear shoes now because they keep cleaning and all the track and jams. All, all of that. All of that. But it just, res- like, so I went to my homie's house. He just bought a house, him and his wife. And out of respect for their house, I know they just bought it. And to me, it's like a respect. Thing. I do that too. Yeah, I, yeah, I, well, like I try to angle like, but honestly, bro, I like I don't take my shoes off. Like I just be walking. Around. I mean, I ain't allowed to. I don't got to point out when somebody come to the crib. Shoes, please. You know, yeah, like, yeah, shoes, yeah. Please. But it's just, but, but, but for that reason, I was like, I don't want to track no shit up in my house. Da da da. But it's like a respect thing. I think in the Asian culture, culture, I believe this. I think so. I'm, I'm I can fact check this. Hey, but I think like that's what they do in their in their homes. Like obviously to keep it clean, but it's like a yeah. respect thing. It's like yo, I'm gonna yeah, take yeah, off my shoes and yeah. like yo, you know what I'm saying, and I like your it. place. Asian cultures, Middle Eastern cultures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like look, out of respect for you, like you know, I'm just gonna take out my shoes. You know, you don't wear house. Hey, shoes. but some people will wear like slides in the crib. Yeah, yeah, See, I wear slides in the crib that they, they only they don't come out of the house. They only be in the crib. Uh, I got Well, see, like, my slides, I got a pair of slides in my back door. Because, you know, it's like I go outside and do my thing. Or in my front door if I got to go do something. But it's just there. But house. I don't wear no what shoes. What about you, I got, I, I, don't, I don't wear shoes inside the house. Yeah, you don't wear shoes inside the house? I, I hate that feeling. The feeling of shoes I, I hate that. Yeah. But at the front door, back door, I got some Crocs. Crocs. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my, my cutting grass Crocs. Hell okay. yeah. And then I got my... My other Crocs, if I'm just running to work at night. I need to give me some Crocs. I do need to get some Crocs, especially cooking the grass, man. I hated them. Life yeah, like, I don't life life change change life life change. Everybody Damn, say that, bro. Everybody say that. Everybody say, y'all, once you go, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've seen the people that wear Crocs. I was like, I, would, I never thought you you would cop some Crocs. But they be rocking. He's like, yo, you hoes. I want them Salehi Crocs, but they be taxing for that. Right, so stupid ass shit. I'm about to get the regular Crocs from Walmart. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Facts. I didn't have Walmart Facts. They yeah, everywhere. Yeah, the off-brand Crocs. They have to. They the same. They have Crocs everywhere. They just, they just real. If you don't sell Crocs from at a shoe store, it's a launch. Unless you got like a certain type of shoe store, obviously. I'm gonna go with some Crocs, man. I feel like they got them out. Folks be putting time. buttons and shit on their Crocs and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's You better not do that. Anyways, I know y'all wondering who this young, beautiful gentleman <laughs> is we got sitting next to us now. He is a top tier roommate. I'm talking about one of the, the what we calling this shit again? Gold members? Gold members. Gold members. Mm hmm. He don't even know. Yeah, he probably, you don't, he yeah. you don't even know that you, you was a gold member. member. He he ain't ain't that shit. Like, we'll come with being a gold member. Shit Anyways, 
Caleb, we, welcome to the Raw Room. Welcome to the couch, man. We appreciate you coming up. Now, there's a reason you are here, and I want you to bring that thing on out. Bring it up here, partner. I hold this for you, man. Come bearing gifts. You know, we love when the roomies just want to bless us, man. You know what now, I'm saying? Now, Caleb got this beautiful, this joint, beautiful yeah. ass rug. What? Man. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I, he hit us in the deal. Hey, he think about getting a, in a, getting a, 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 a rug huge. made in this big as fuck. It's and it, bro, this is like, this is, it's this, real, yo, bro. this like, is a rug, a deal. yo. It's I saw thick, the process. We, we saw the process being made. That shit on my TikTok. Go check it out. It's on a whole bunch of people TikTok. Guys. Tell us about it, man. Like, the process of making it, the colors, all that, yeah, bro. Did it. Like, I mean, I, do you make rugs, my nigga? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Is that what you do? No. <laughs> One of my friends, he started making rugs, and I, I was thinking, I was like, I want something for my room. And I was like, I don't know what I want. I don't. I have carpet in my room. I don't I don't need a rug on top of that. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to get something made. And I was like, what's a cool design? And I was wearing the shirt. I was like, ah, shit, this is what it was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll see if you can do it. He yeah. goes, he's like, oh, that's, I'll have to do that huge. And I was like, okay. Big. <laughs> Bigger <laughs> than better, baby. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, okay, I'm making this as, as big as I can. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let me know when it's done. Uh, Damn, yeah. hey, okay. that's what's it up, bro. We dope. appreciate that. I shit, feel like bro. it had to be big, like all the details and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. I know there's a lot is. of color going into it and yeah, yeah. thread and whatever this shit. I know that takes a lot of work. And shout out to him, too. Yeah, absolutely. What's his name? Um, I can pull up his TikTok. Pull Boom, up. we can pull yeah, up his TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Send it we, to us, man. Here, man. So we appreciate that shit. We appreciate that, yo. I don't give oh, a fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. That was the perfect time for that. <laughs> I actually hit that. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. Hey, that shit funny that as crazy, hell. Boy. Who else don't give a fuck is all these Airbnb um, owners in certain places, bro. Now, I done had ran into a little situation my time in Miami with Airbnb. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it got ver- verbally, ang- you know what I'm saying, verbally uh, nasty. Okay. With the mm-hmm. owner or with the... With the, actually the third party host that's... That I that, manage that, you the property. Say, yeah, I go okay. through the, all the bullshit. Okay. So, um, you know, my situation wasn't no, you know, dire or anything like that. It was just the motherfucker had the door locked when I my flight delayed and the door was locked. When I was supposed to get there, it was supposed to be unlocked. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Gotcha. And can't nobody be contacting the That's when the damn base got pissed the next day. Because I had to go get a hotel. That's when I was at the ah, SLS. Yeah. I had to nah. get a hotel. You went to SLS? I went to SLS. Which one? Lit Lux? And Brickle. Oh, yeah, Lux and Brooklyn. Yeah, it's my spot, bro. It's my spot. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I got in a little verbal altercation with them the next day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you give me that refund, motherfucker. I'm For like, the whole day, yeah. Yeah, I'm going out like that shit. But these people at this Airbnb uh, was arrested for after... Pause that real quick. Be... Bro, this nigga, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. But real you quick. can't be doing that, bro. Nah, first, straight up, first. You can't be doing that, bro. You but can't I got to ask you something about your experience. I, I you don't want to ask me it. after, but don't... They can't do that while I'm delivering, Okay, bro. my bad, bro. Go ahead. God dang. dang. I just don't like going back. But, but I go don't ahead. give a fuck. I don't like stopping. Okay, well, my bad, bro. I didn't know that. Y'all, you, this Normally is going to be the worst ever. They're going to be like, bro, base, you trash. I know. Now you niggas see why. Nigga got me off my Damn, shit. My bro, bad. You fuck, bro. bro, normally we be, I, I can stop you and ask you a question no, you or anything. Bro, I, I do. This bitch. Okay, I, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You've been go stopping ahead. me too many times. Go ahead. We already had the dinosaur okay, situation. All right. Okay, I will be quiet. Finish your point. Go ahead. Do your thing, bro. Go ahead, do your thing, bro. Nah, see, now nah, I can't do it. Hey, these two ladies got knife attacked on the uh, at an Airbnb rental in Vancouver. Got down. Fuck. It's horrible. It's a horrible story. <laughs> Bruh, you, <laughs> nigga, nigga fade dying yeah, over here, bruh. I'm tripping too. I'm tripping too. Yo, this is funny. Oh, man, bruh. A Vancouver man has been charged with aggravated assault after the alleged attack on two young women who ran in the Airbnb suite. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ladies uh, was saying, called saying, I, I don't know what happened with him. And then he suspects specific to him, this is a neighbor. Uh, but he just flipped and then went very violent in a very, way, in a very violent way. It was horrifying, and there was blood everywhere. That's from a neighbor. Um, yeah, the young ladies were called around 3 a.m. Uh, he said the man frantic was frantic with the females. The man was yelling. He was pushing the girls against the wall. The lady said she heard banging. He heard him say, why did you push my cat? You know people don't fuck with cats in, in Canada. Right, right. You no, know, you better check that doc that. out. Uh, <laughs> don't fuck with cats. You hear me? <laughs> but yeah, th- all, but this is a crazy thing because this is starting to go. I started I saw, seeing a whole bunch of people on Twitter were saying like they didn't find cameras in their shit, like or, or audio 
machines device. recording devices, trying to see what people saying, how many people in the in the room in the in the Airbnb and shit. And I was just wondering, have you ever came across it without them telling you that there's gonna be camera? Because some most people tell you, hey, yeah, we got cameras on the property. You don't know where they at. So Unless I have they, my own Airbnb. So you know, I, I go through the process. Yeah, I mean, and I don't gotta, think you out here. We get, but that. like to my point, I mean, like if you have a management company that runs it, obviously this guy was running his own shit. It yeah. sounds like. If you got a management company, like there's like a whole checklist. They they like they wipe your shit down. And I got I have two cameras, one for my uh, doorbell uh, joint and mm. one in my backyard. I feel uh, like that's normal. That's that's cool. That's, that's normal. normal. But it's but but I'm to your about point the shit inside. But like to your point, be honest. That's one of the reasons why I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I I have not I have not stayed in the Airbnb probably since 2018. That's a lot. Because we of that. Last year. Do I know? We stayed in one last year. Oh, me and you, nigga, my I left too, remember? So you still there for one night? So technically, don't so they could have recorded but, you. But, 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 but to that point though, I, I like I don't book it because I mean that 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 is common for like that that is really really common. I feel like niggas of creeps out here. Yeah, facts. Real facts, talk, facts. like people are really really creepy out here, no, yo. Facts. And like especially if like if it's their own spot. Now I don't like. Uh, so I, I read the article. <clears throat> The guy said about the whole cat thing, but honestly, I feel like it had to be more than just like the, the whole cat thing. But we don't know. It just said like the whole cat thing. But like people, people get you know what I'm saying a little antsy about their shit. You know, like about their property and stuff. I mean, especially if you got thousands of dollars invested into it, you don't want nobody to come through and fuck it up. Because look, yeah, I then, know about like Airbnb. You, said, you need a, you need somebody to manage that. Then if you can't control yourself, that's you true. Can't, if you that's can't true. run some. That's true. That's 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 the exact reason why I got a management company because I ain't want none of that bullshit coming to me. Matter of fact, I, uh, AC or some shit had uh, went down in our uh, uh, house or whatever, and thank God they didn't call me directly because had I uh, you know had like they called me, I probably would have you know be like yo like well why the hell you got the damn AC blasting at like fifty nine degrees and it's a hundred and three yeah, yeah. degrees outside. You got to run it for four fucking days. You you froze my shit. You know, but you know this besides the point. <laughs> my uh, point I was trying to make was. I get why, I mean, I don't get it because it is a major privacy, but bro, I've seen some horror stories of some people fucking some Airbnbs. No, nah, bro, though. yeah, hey, hey, yeah. I, like, I get like, it. I know. really messing it up. I, I'm not talking about the ones that, like, you just want, you got this camera that's facing the living room. At but the like, you're talking about the ones in like the bathroom. Yeah, I'm talking about the ones the that, no, I'm not even talking about the ones that's, I'm talking about the ones that's not visible. Like yeah. you trying to record on the low type shit. You yeah. say the cameras around, but like, it might be something that's that we can see in the front yard, in the backyard. But you got shit set up, and I ain't seen that shit. Word? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm like, where I was, could be it was a while ago, like 2018, 19, eight, something like that. Yeah, but you slicker but, the, uh, came up on them. Raising the privacy, baby. Nice little lost loop. <laughs> oh, I got that check real quick. I don't know what I feel like we was on. It was me and uh, Armani. You know, we, we young as it's it's fact. We just yeah. unplugged all them hoes. Outside, we won't put all that shit. They told us to try to turn it back on. You better come over here and tell us to do it, nigga. Bet you ain't gonna come in the house and do it. Just come on. And then that owner from Canada would have came over. <laughs> yeah. And no, be like, no, yo, we not. got busy. You see who we got busy with some young ladies. You right, you right, you right, you come right. Come on, this nigga 6'5. Right. You right, you right. Come on, bro. Two, we two, 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 two fifty plus. Two sixty five. Yo, we getting busy for you, buddy. You right, you right, you right, yeah, you right. Fuck. Yeah, but nah, I do story, I am though. I am starting finna start fuck stop fucking with uh Airbnb. Oh yeah, I'm I, done I, with I, I shit. After this and this shit too. I mean, because too, like, here's the thing. I'd rather fuck with Airbnbs that do have a management company. So the reason why I asked you that was because you said you was dealing with a third party company. Usually mm -hmm. they give you the code to the door before you get there. See, that's another that pissed me off. They kept on saying it's gonna be a code. I want no fucking code. It's one of them good old school lock and key. That's that's what I'm saying. That's they made me have download the little app. I didn't have to download it. I had the app before that yeah. you can put the code in. You just do phone. Right, right. Did right. that before plenty of time. They telling me this. No, it's the code. I'm looking at this motherfucking door. It's a dead boat up here in the whole wreck line handle right there, bro. Damn. Put the key in. That's why I, bro, that's why I was going the fuck out. Okay. Then, because like they were trying to tell you that they had something like, yo, I'm looking, looking at the at damn door. Yes. Okay. And okay. then the next okay. day, they, uh, then uh, Jason was there. Then Jason went to the to the over there, and the door was unlocked. He mm -hmm. opened the door. The damn door about to fall off the hinges and that bit. Like it was something broke the door. They gonna try to hit me up after the, the, the state. I we told him that day. He called me and said, "Hey, this dope fuck." Cause I wasn't getting tatted. Mm -hmm. He called me and said, "Hey, this dope fucked up." I was like, "Shit, tell the dude if he's still there." That's all I know. He's like, "Yeah, I've told his that." After we get out of leave, they talking about trying to charge me two bands. I said, I went. Two bands? That's why I went down there. I started tax. I pulled a car. I was driving. Pulled a car. Started... 
I be fucked up. And you already owe me money from the first day. And it was like, oh, we didn't know that the door was already broke. My apologies. Uh, yeah, folks trying to get over Yeah, that's all they were trying to do. And I already know I'm, I already went off on your ass a couple days before. You think I ain't going to do it again? Yeah. They're all going to be like, oh, yeah. That I'm was a bad judgment call. Get the fuck call. out of here, nigga. <laughs> that was a bad judgment call. So, yeah, you, they, had, you, had, you, had, you had time that day. So, all right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah I had time. Listen, say you less. ain't finna get me with this. But I ain't going to lie to you. Like, back, back to it, like, like I mean, you know, I ain't trying to show nobody business because like, I got every myself, so. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't necessarily like to stay at them for two reasons. A, I like my shit to be clean when I get back, too. This is, like, my thing. And like an Airbnb is like, if, especially if like you there for like four four days or so, oh, shit. that shit is slow, bro. You do not want to be in an Airbnb for four days and you still got the same ass nasty ass house sitting there. But luckily, you know, some Airbnbs got fucking, you know, washing and dryers and shit like that. But hey, who want to wash their own fucking clothes though? Yeah, yeah. Who wants to do that on vacation? Some people do that. But no, I don't want. I don't want. I ain't, I'm trying to relax, but I ain't trying to do no shit that I would do in my normal home, bro. Like washing clothes, bro. That shit is will get annoying. That, 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 that's just my part. Exactly. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, so question. Yeah. Er, you know what? Oklahoma drill. Hotels. Yeah, do Oklahoma drill. Goddamn it. Hotels or Airbnb. What you got? Hotels. Hotels. It's your I'll, shit. I'll never forget. I was in. I was in Vegas. And I, I came back, and all of my stuff was organized on the bed. All the all the cables were wrapped up. I've never been so happy in my life. <laughs> For real? I've never been Hell so happy. Hell yeah. <laughs> they really take care of you in the yeah. hotel. They be doing shit that, do, bro, they, they do shit I don't do in my house. In a hotel. Line up your shoes and oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> they be lining up your they kids. They take care of you, bro. I'll be like, yeah, that. I'm like, thank you, man. I don't know what you, hotel you school looks like. You have to get a nice hotel. It must be nice. You do got to, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it, it has to be like, I mean, even if it's a decent hotel, like a, like, you know, like a, a nice uh, Marriott or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they'll, 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 like, hot, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll still take care of you. Like, they'll do certain things. Like, they'll fold up your, you know, fold your shit up, wrap yeah. your cords, all that shit, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Airbnb, we thank y'all ladies out right there. And men. And men. Sure men and men. Absolutely. Take care of your hotel. Thank y'all you know, so much. That's a job. You know, it's just it's a working job. You know, it's, a, yeah, yeah. it's an essential job. It is an essential job. Now, there's some essential jobs out here in this world that you might not can pay some niggas to do. Now, out okay. there in Raleigh, North Carolina, it's a company that pay you $2,000 to release 100 cockroaches in your home. Would you do that? Pass. Pass. Hard pass. pass, huh? Hard pass. Hey, that's working, but you're doing work for the community. I mean, but there are people that'll do it though. And that's like, and if you that's already an got essential roaches, job, and that's an essential job. That. If you already got roaches, I've seen three of them. I'll take a hundred more. I don't know. <laughs> for two bands? Uh, but I guess you go I ain't like, see, this thing about roaches though, them motherfuckers do not leave though. Like if 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 they leave at least a release a hundred roaches in your house, you might well go ahead and move. Cause you're not getting rid of them bitches at all. I don't care what you do. You can call every Terminator, oh, Terminator. They're going to release these roaches in your house for one month to test the, uh, the new uh, extermination treatment. And you're not allowed to use another exterminator during the month. But for the two bands, ah, nah, nah, that two bands ain't going to take you to the hotel for a whole month. Mm -mm. Hell no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Extended stay, maybe. Oh, you get an Airbnb <laughs> for two bands for a month. Ain't got cameras in them. Hey. It, it, it got two bands I'm pretty sure if you for got, Airbnb if you for let, a month. If you let cockroaches in your house, bro, you ain't. You ain't giving a fuck about them cameras. Nah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You matter of fact, you might take over that Airbnb yeah, and just bro. never move. Right, well, this is Cause you know that's how people now. be getting, folks. I seen it on YouTube. A lady let uh she had Airbnb at her house out while she was on vacation, and the ladies would be gone when she get back. My head lady end up staying. Damn. Staying. <laughs> oh God, dude. Oh God. It's on, I see it on she Twitter. Can she could get out. She could get out of the house. Man, she recording on, she on Twitter talking about, yes, I got this lady and she will not leave. And you just see that, <laughs> and the lady just walk about to the kitchen. Boy, that's, <laughs> Put some shit in the microwave, food. And she's like, then she came back and said, uh, you, like, somebody, you drove my car. So she like, hey, I was like, wow, bro. What and she's like, close the door on her face. Like, I ain't going, you ain't going to get me out. I ain't going nowhere. But that shit, that, yeah, that right there, Faye. But that shit happens all the time out here, bro. Yeah, go play a little bit so she can just, they can just hear it, bro. <laughs> This, but I think you can do that. You stay there for like two weeks and change your mail yeah. to be delivered there. And technically, they have to evict you, I think. Okay, so I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. Yeah, I, I didn't know this shit could 
happen, but this shit is real. This shit is really going on. Goddamn, I got myself trying to find a way to goddamn pay off my mortgage a little better. She gonna hit goddamn by twelve thirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sub lease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. Okay. It was gonna be it was supposed yeah. to be like okay. this real soon transaction, or whatever. I was, went on vacation or whatever. The person was right, you turn it off. Yeah, 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 okay, so like there's a difference there. There is a difference yeah, there. Get it. There is a difference. But she subleased to the she house, into like a p- apartment, not an Airbnb though. But is that still that, that's still a sublease, right? No. Airbnb and a sublease are two different things. It's two no. different things completely. Okay. Um, but, but now I'm not sure what kind of, cause this is what probably messed her up. If she said she's subleasing her spot and like, and like her paperwork wasn't together, mm. the woman the, probably could have stayed. She, then what should you can do about that? That's what I'm saying. I know that they, there's people that know the laws on that. And so yeah. they, they know that, oh, if I stay here long enough and like you said, get my mail sent here, now I can stay I'm here. a permanent resident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. Yes, sir. You can do that. I mean, well, you. Well, I mean, I guess you can do that, but I ain't allowed to. Yeah, there they, are some laws that prevent uh, evicting you squatters. people out. There we go. Yeah, is evicting what? squatters. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yep, that's mm-hmm. what it is. I want to say it's a documentary on that. Of course, you know, I saw it, but oh, I gotta find that doc. There's crazy somewhere. YouTube videos on it. That's why I was saying in Vegas YouTube there was a guy that's that he couldn't get out of his house for yeah, like a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was that's, a, it was a yes. nice house. I seen, it was a YouTube video. That's what I saw. Yeah. It was a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw the same. Everybody had like a nice crib. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and it bro was, just wouldn't yeah. leave. But I seen like when a woman like she tried to, like do parties trying to get the dude out. Matter of fact, it was on that one on Netflix. Like she was throwing, I think it was on Netflix. She was throwing parties trying to get the dude out. Bad yeah, roommate. Like, that joint. Yeah, oh, that's something different. That was bad roommate. I bad, think roommate. bad roommate. Bad roommate. And did like just one leaving. Did like somebody die at that joint though? Yes. Okay, yeah. He yeah, murdered yeah. somebody. But yeah, yeah. yeah I see. <laughs> now you see what the fuck we get to. You can't, this is crazy. That. I see that joint. I see that joint. Yeah. That's why though. Hey, but look, hey man, listen, y'all better get y'all paperwork in order. Because that's the thing. Don't be but trying yeah. to come up on this real estate if you don't understand. And if you don't, estate. exactly, yo. Especially that she said, like, oh, I'm just gonna sell these my spot out, man. This While I'm going for yeah. a week. Alex, so what if uh what if you rent your Airbnb out and if the person doesn't want to leave, what are you gonna do? I mean, that's that's you can't easy. call the police. Call police gonna be like, nah. Well, see what see like for me, like I said, it's it's Airbnb. There's a car on. I'm not there. That car so, can run out, buddy. Somebody gotta pay me, bro. The bank ain't gonna just pay you just because. Some, somebody, but somebody has to pay me now. Maybe now, eventually but, down the road. But but if if like if like it gets to a point to where like they just not leaving, I mean, yeah, bro, that's an easy call. That's an easy call. And I got a management company for that. Thank God. They'll deal with it. <laughs> but I'm just saying that I didn't know that. I know that. I just seen what police had to come over there, and they didn't do nothing about it. They can't. Okay. You got to go to court. Yeah, and then the court will even still Airbnb, let I, it keep going. Like I, I want to say, what saying, I just seen is, it. It's like different. It. Just because, like, to me, it's just like in a, a hotel room. Like, if you at a hotel, you hey, listen. You can st- like, if, if like you say, well, look, I got standing, I got standing, I got standing. Like something is getting charged, and they look a hotel getting their money. So, um, if if you overdraft like your account, it's different just because they it's the ho- same thing, baby, bro. Like I had you a, or you in the hotel is the hotel, bro. Listen, awesome. but but Airbnb itself though is a conglomerate company. Yeah, yeah, that's no, what that's I'm saying. Why, but I said so Airbnb, Airbnb because, would have to pay you, but it wouldn't it, it'll be some time down the line whenever you get that motherfucker back. I get it though. Yeah, you, it, it might be a money. year and a half when the nigga finally get a pound of Oh, no, nah, it ain't going to take, bro, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I didn't see it. It ain't going to take that long, baby. I ain't going to take that it. long at all, baby. They also say that the cost to evict a tenant can cost anywhere between four and seven racks just to evict them. <sighs> But that, but that's so pleasing though. Like that's, that's that's different. Like everybody, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, like yeah, that, you, yeah. That, I know, that, but yeah, saying, that that makes sense though. Which is crazy, think, I don't, and that's why I don't think we seen no Airbnb squad. I don't know if that's the thing. It most like you said, she can. sub these. Like she went through some different shit other than yeah, uh, Airbnb, different. and I I get it. That shit different, man. But, but it's wild just, though. I just think it's funny though if a nigga <laughs> did just tell you that nigga ain't leaving. I ain't leaving, nigga. Hey, what if it's somebody like somebody that is big, six five two forty? You ain't gonna tell him no. <laughs> you gonna be like, well, shit. All right, bro. Say less, then, bro. I go to the store. I see it. You need a thing? You need some milk? Got that bread? This thing, bro. Some sugar? Oh, stop, bro. All right, man. But you know, right now it's hot as fuck outside. It's been hot everywhere. But do you know the hottest place on earth this last month? Mm-mm, I do not, my friend. You tell me about it. This is okay. Let me say this. Nah, I'm finna make you say it. What's it this called? What is it? Jacob Abad. Oh, look, that bitch did, did it good. Jacob Babad. Hey, that bitch sounds like a rapper. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pakistan. Jacob Babad, Pakistan. It was hot as hell last month. But the only reason this caught my eye is because not only is it hot as hell out there, there's like pregnant women 
elderly women, young kids that's out there got to work in these fields, work out here, and it's just that shit just sad as fuck, bro. Cause you know we 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 complain over here. Everybody complains like we outside doing something, cutting the grass. It's a little hot outside. We gotta walk in the store. It's a little hot outside. Hell, today me, bro, I was squinting, looking mad as fuck, coming out the move there because it was just so fucking hot. But these folks out here with full length clothes on, sleeves and all, working with kids in their stomach on their back. Uh, children doing the same, and they going back sleeping on floors. And I just think that shit. First of all, prayers up to them. Thoughts and prayers. Just you know, right, hopefully right. they can find a better situation one day, or you know, maybe God bless that look that, that global warming shit, that temperature over there. But yeah, hundred and twenty two degrees. Right, boy, sir. that's what I'm getting. To, yes, sir. It's it's dicey out there. It's getting real. You can cook eggs on the floor. Like it's real out there. And, it's, and I'm pretty sure that homes not coming equipped with AC units. They are not. Coming equipped with a little fan. Some people sleeping outside um, because it's hotter inside the house. So it's just real. Like, and it's just here to, hey, remind you, there's people going through worse shit in the world. And I had to the remind global myself. warming, like, to your to our <laughs> beginning point, yo, that's, that's a big freaking deal, yo. That's crazy. I slid that's, that that's in there for a, you earlier, bro. You didn't hear me. I slid that, that in ain't, there That for ain't you. like, like, real talk. That's like a, that, that is literally a natural disaster. Just like a, a, to me, this is my opinion, just like a, 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 a hurricane or tsunami or earthquake. If it's 122 degrees where somebody got, then they got kids around. Mm-hmm. Let me just read this. I want to say, paint y'all a picture when I say young girls. 17 year old uh, neighbor, uh, Wadari, who gave birth a few weeks ago, is back working in temperatures that exceed 50, 50 Celsius, which is 122 degrees Fahrenheit, with her newborn lying on a blanket in the shade nearby so she can feed him when she when he cries. When the heat is coming and we're pregnant, we feel stressed, Sonari, in her mid 20s. Now, this is a whole nother lady. These women in southern Pakistan and millions like them are in, uh, in the world, the world where are at the searing edge of a climate change. Mm-hmm. There you go. Pregnant women exceed to expose the heat for prolonged <laughs> periods of time, have higher risks and stuff. Obviously, we know that. But yeah, that's this is how that's fuck out there. And shout out to them women. That's sad, bro. Children. Yeah. Speaking of heat, though, I got a segue for you. Two. How was your workout today? It was cool. It was a good workout, man. Got it in. Matter of fact, got it in with Theo Vaughn. Shout out to Theo Vaughn and boys in that working with that mullet and headband on. Looking silly as fuck every time. But yeah, it was it was cool though. That felt good. Like, I like that, that shit. To get at it. I like the feeling after. Even though nigga dying, mm-hmm. I like the feeling afterwards, you know, shirt drenched. Need a gallon of water. Finna go mm-hmm. eat good. So we y'all saw? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, tell them about it. What you mean? What I'm gonna tell you? It wasn't hot. I saw on your, I saw on your um, IG store. <laughs> I saw on your IG store. That you, oh, uh, the stadiums. Yeah. The stadiums. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We did. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, I posted a picture of the stadiums, you know. And, you know, let me tell you something about me. Obviously, I know growing up that most of the time I'm playing football, especially as the time come around high school. You know, I'm not, I play basketball, but I didn't have to do no, no basketball. Some train, I mean, a training camp with basketball. I didn't. Peep track team. I ran track, but I didn't have to do that either because I was in basketball. Mm-hmm. So I ain't had to go out there and run with them boys when they had to get it in. Uh, so I didn't know that all of us in high school were dying on those steps if you play any type of sport. Exactly. I had to hit him up, y'all. In he the had gym. to hit me up and let me know that, hey, <laughs> I'm the only one dying. Absolutely. Now, let me explain. Did you play sports in high school? Yeah. Was you football? Yeah. I'm sure you remember you the saw stadium. The, you saw, y'all ran stadium? Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know if y'all also did it like we did. Now, we didn't just run, run stadiums, but it'd be like, bro, we just run 20 gases. They'd be like, all right, get some water. And then three minutes later, oh, right, you got five stadiums. Five stadiums would be like, you up one side, down the other side, run a lap one. Mm-hmm. Up one side, down the other side, and run a lap two. Mm-hmm. I'm talking, we just ran 20 gases. Nigga, it's, uh, it's hot out there. And this is high school. <laughs> it was a different time in the early 2000s. You can't do that now, I feel Ooh, like. Yeah. First of all, your team will quit. Yeah. And somebody going to get sued. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so after, get sued. after somebody walk out for that, that's the next thing going to happen, yeah. Mama, yeah. guess what they did to me? Like, like, bro, we was doing this like ninth grade now. Nah. Oh, yeah. Trying yeah. to make the team, whatever yeah. you trying to do. Like, you was doing bleach. Like, bro, remember back in the day, bro, like, uh, that was a lot of 
some articles where in like news stories where like players and stuff was passed. Oh the yeah, fuck yeah, out. Nah, facts, 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 facts. I remember when that shit was coming out, and even in college when I got to college, college niggas still shoot. yeah, going out. yeah. Hell, right before I got there the year before, my coach Yox ran a nigga into the dirt. That nigga end up couldn't even playing football no more. Weren't there some like fatalities? Cause I mean, well, there, I think he like had some type of disease. All right, this, all right, I can't it. remember facts. So I don't want to put it all on Coach Yas because yeah. Yas ran us all into the ground. So. Some, some had happened. Yeah, some had happened. What you did right there? What, is it? what was that right there? What did they say? Face, go back up, go back up. Oh, never mind. This is the most, the most recent uh, last year college football player. Oh, last year, and die. Yeah, mm-hmm. during uh, conditioning drills. Well, yeah. that feels like this happens once every couple years. Yeah, know? I just remember though, like, like when like we was in high school though. I just feel like. There, it was, it was happening a lot. Like I just, cause I even remember like mom was in the mom used to tell you like, hey, how much, how, how much, how much water do you get? Like it was like they was making sure if we was like, yeah, real nah, deal. yeah, but now nah, yeah, I high school, they st- I feel like they still make like they gave us water bottle, make sure I fill up during class and shit. Yeah, like, they made yeah. Sure we y'all, yeah. y'all weren't threatened for getting water. Do what? Uh, nah, we. Uh, I mean, like for you mean like from like the coaches and stuff. Coaches get mad when you like when in the middle water. of some condition type shit. Yeah, yeah, nah, I ain't never. Dude, I ain't never go get no water in the middle. Like until they be like, "Hey, go get some water." And, That's what I'm saying. But like, I'm saying like, yeah. like during like, like our parents was the ones that was telling us get like drink water and stuff. I feel like I don't really necessarily remember like, high school. High school, yeah, high school for uh, sure. Your yeah, parents at practice? Yeah, that's what nah, I'm, what? I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying like after after I came home, I home. Well, if I'm at the yeah, crib, yeah, like mom yeah, like yo, yeah, have, have, have like you yeah. drink water today? Cause like she 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 was the one saying, cause I just read on news, so so so, oh, yeah, so yeah, just yeah, like yeah. passed out, cause they da, 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 you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But nah, man, nah. like this this heat out here, I just I, I don't know, like I don't know, like do like they even still do like those crazy two days in, in like high school? I don't know. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't I think, think they're I think they're illegal. Yeah, yeah. First of all, first of all, you can't do two days in we won't do two days in NFL no more. I mean, two days was a thing, though. Like, I know everybody had two days from Pee Wee <laughs> League for like to middle, least middle. Where they start doing two days in like the league, in like everywhere. I feel like I mean, they, they had to be recent. 20, like, they had two nah, days 13, back when, like, when like, we was in high school, right? 13, 14. You, 13. you've had two days, right? Well, I had two days my whole life up until I got to the league. That's what I'm saying. The last time I had was in, I want to say 2013. 2013 is the first when they like changed it. Mm. Only, yeah, we had 2013. We had, I think we had two days. And that was the last time I feel like I remember two days. Maybe in 20. Hold on, maybe even when I got to the Razor too. That was 2016. Maybe. I can't remember. Really mm. But, but yes, maybe high like, school though. Yeah. They college. Like two days. <sighs> two days. Now I think they do two days like, they do two days like it's, it's a walkthrough or a seven on seven or some shit like that. But you but you own the field. You right? own the field, but it's like a, it's not, you don't got pads on. Mm. It's like that type of practice. Then you might have another, like that's when you have practice, practice with pads on. That's how t- two of the training camp in NFL now is just a g- million of walkthroughs a day and then the practice. So they're well, like, they can feel like they get all them walkthroughs. You get some type of practice, two type of pra- days in, in two and a half. Oh, okay. I see so you'll you have a walkthrough after this set of meetings and then you go get a little break. Then you got another walkthrough before the, though you go out there and have a practice pre walkthrough and then you go out there and walk through, then practice. Then after that, Shower up, eat, walk through again, nigga. <laughs> Shower and eat, walk yeah. through again. Walk through again. What are you about Just to say, man? Fact check, uh, in 2011, in 2000. the uh, collective bargaining agreement, it was... Uh, so the NFL, so no, we just days. had one of them long-ass days that I just told you right there. That's what it was. Just feel, you don't leave, so it feel like you're having two days. I saw my nigga sleep on the flow. Yeah, nigga bring a break. Now, like even coaches bringing up blow-up mattresses to the, to the building because they don't leave. The NPs <laughs> had that business back in the corner. Flip that bitch on now. Lay it down. That's crazy. Living in that bitch. The life. She's not Speaking of coaches. What's got? Oh, no. Let me see. We were talking about football, high school football. Yeah. Was there a moment in period, at Caleb, in your football career that you got your shit knocked loose? Like, you seen stars, you didn't see shit at all. Not really in football, but in baseball. I will we never hit forget. By the ball. No, I was playing first. Kid bunts the ball, pitcher grabs it, throws it. Cross the baseline, jump up to grab it. I'm pretty sure I did a backflip. I was knocked out. Oh, how? That's, that's the hardest I've ever been hit in my life. Wait a minute, hold how, on. How did you explain do, like, this? Did somebody explain, take your explain. legs out or something? Walk us through this. Yeah. On first base, <laughs> reaching up to get the ball, uh-huh. jump up to the, jump up to the left, yeah. and better run straight into me. Hardest oh, I've ever been hit. Shit. Just, just like, no, I, you can't control. You ain't seeing it, so you yeah, not yeah. even expecting it. Yeah, like they go through first. They like, shit, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, good. They run through the Yeah. I'll never forget. Woke up, whole team's in the dugout. 
For real? I was, I was like, damn. I was like, wow. Sheesh. Ooh. That's it. Like, I, I feel like that's the thing about sports like like baseball, basketball, like places where, like, I mean, you know, you may you get hit. You ain't if supposed you ain't to get paying hit like attention, that. though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, you, you get, get rocked. Up, that's yeah. the thing. Cause, like, you're not really, I mean, like, I'm sure, like, we're like, yeah, he played racist. football, so I didn't he, see him, I didn't he just ain't see him coming. coming. That's the worst. Oh, yeah, I did get that out, though. Hey, shit, you got that. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, stat that line. Hey, yeah. Put my, my, my body on the line. No, I know what he's saying, bro. Hey, they're getting hit when you're not seeing it coming. But that's that's that shit. That's the worst one. Man. It's worst hit. I didn't told I didn't told the roommates about the time I got hit with that shit. But anyway, we on Taylor Jenkins. Taylor Jenkins got a contract extension. And we go over here. We love that. Shout out to him. Shout out to the Grizzlies. We might have some coming for y'all with these Grizzlies. And it ain't gonna be no giveaway, bitch. Hell yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to them. That's big for the city. Big for him, cause what are you second in the coaching vote of the uh, coach of the year? Mm-hmm. Uh, he got a young core, young, you know? Yeah, and he making that shit happen. So, yeah. shout out to him. And, like, it looked like the team fuck with him. I, and, like, I feel like that's very, very important. Oh, like, yeah, that, that, that coach is playing come on. The only problem I had last year was this nigga wasn't playing Steven Adams. When? Like, when? In the, exactly. The, my yeah. In the early in the Golden State series. Early in the Golden State, yeah. And at the end of, uh, he didn't bring him on to the end of the Minnesota series. You right. He didn't really play that much. He didn't play it all. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. I, like Steve I, feel, Brown, bro. I do too, bro. But like Cat was that the game that Cat got off. Cause Cat was broke most of most of that the series. Whole, bro, but yeah, that, like one game. He had one game. But Steve Nash was out there when he was when he had that he one was, game. He was. He was. He was. He was. Okay. Um, but to your point though, I mean, even like against Golden State, like, I definitely probably would have played him. Cause like, hey, they ain't got no size like that. No. That's the reason why Boston. Because of, that's why Looney had 30 million rebounds yeah. against us, bro. Yeah. I mean, he did that shit that he doing that to everybody. But he still. Yes. <laughs> <That's my, laughs> bro, they get my guy. man rebound magnet. Yeah. But Son Ahmad who was on here the other time. He had he a go state fan. He from the base. So he be they got nicknames for bro. Looney. What's his, what's his nickname? I, I forgot what he was saying, Faye. Looney Tunes? Hakeem Aluna John or something. <laughs> yeah, Hakeem Aluna. That is some silly shit. Hakeem Aluna some silly Aluna shit, John. but that was funny as for like, they obviously, bro, I be loving Nick too, but they give him, he should give him plenty of second opportunities. But while we still on basketball, Russia extended the WNBA basketball star, Brittany Grounder. That shit crazy. Um, pre-trial detention on drugs, smuggling charges till July 2nd, pushing her jail step past the four-month mark. I ain't got nothing to say about it, bro. Just prayers oh, up. Nah, yeah, just prayers up. I can only imagine. She ain't been able to talk to nobody, like, in her family, only through, like, cryptic messages, like, type of shit they, they write for her. Mm. Like, so she ain't like she getting to write her own words. And like, say, they, they say, like, all right, so what you want to say? She okay? Yeah, like that. Like, I'm eating. I'm doing good. I'm yeah. eating. I'm not dead, nigga. Like, that's, that's sad, it. bro. Prayers up to her real talk. Hell yeah. Man. Have they actually seen her, though? Nah, like videos? No, no, her, her, hey, uh, no. people? No, so like pictures, video, no none of that. Seen Nobody that. seen her. None of that. There's only been like a couple photographs that. of her, like walking from like hearings and shit. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, like, and, like we don't even see her face. It's yeah. like hoodie on dress. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. I can't. I can't imagine that, bro. Like, I really can't. I'm talking about and like when, like when I got, I can't imagine. I'm talking about like from. I mean, obviously, what she's going through is horrific. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, I mean, it's really just her and like her thoughts. You know what I mean? I don't, so I don't know what she going through. You look like, at like, bro, I ain't even do nothing. Bro. Yes. Like, yeah. Honest, the entire like, I ain't time do doing nothing, that. bro. But then, like, you just look, I'm talking about, like, you know, her her, yeah. her actual family. Yeah, those last ones I saw. But, like, her actual family, though, like, I can't imagine. It's like, golly, like, I know where she is. I can't just fly her, though. And man. I can't just fly her and just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, like here, you just can go visit. Exactly. You can't even do that, you know? Yeah, that's so. Crazy. It's scary. That's why it's scary you know, we, hey, if you're gonna go take some shit to another country, Keep bro, on saying it. you just don't. First of all, don't take it, but at least know the laws. Yeah, I was just about to say, yeah, like just don't, don't take the shit. Don't take nothing. Heck, I, shit, I, I even say this shit domestically, bro. Don't take shit. Don't even just. Don't even write, uh, roll them dice, bro. Yeah, I it, promise you. you get if you know. In cities in America, if you want to find what you want are bringing, you can. Find it if you look hard. <laughs> in the city, no, I'm talking about but other countries. She ain't but in America. Countries is different. I'm talking about like in America though. Like, well, yeah, you know, yeah, you it, it, gotta, yeah, you ain't gotta do that, bro. But ain't nobody doing that here though. Ain't nobody getting uh, detained at the yeah at the airport for that, a that pen. We know. I mean, well, well, not for a pen, but I'm just saying like real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like if you are trying to bring something, I with don't you. think nobody taking them chances these days. Still, actually, I no, hope not. Is. It's I hope not. Is. What's up? What, what do you think is worse? 
like being arrested there for like in Russia or China? Ooh. Yeah. Russia I probably. Think, nah, my uh, there's gotta be the two worst countries to get arrested. Nah, it's one thousand percent. I'm I'm gonna say Russia, bro. Just cause I'm black. I might say China. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna say Russia, bro. Well, fuck it's one A one B. It's one A one B, bro. Both, like both, goddamn. So what about South Korea? Both. What do you mean South Korea? <laughs> North Korea. North is North Korea. Yeah, North, North. North. Not bad. South Korea, y'all cool uh, for? Yeah, South Korea actually cool as fuck. Nah, yeah, I, I think North Korea, they just kill you. There you go. <laughs> I don't even think they. Well, keep there you go. Nah, they. they then they let a news. Then they have a news reporter one time. <laughs> well, see, like the thing about North Korea, like we do got an ace in the hole. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Real talk. You laughing? <laughs> right or wrong, Faye? Ain't nobody called on that nigga since 98 when Jordan needed him. Nah, that's recent. Like, uh, Robin, <laughs> Robin, fuck with him over there. How do you think that happened? I have no idea uh, how that said happened. He, I read that he said, uh... I want to say, like, uh, no, Ooh, John, he, he hit him up. Like, Ooh, John hit him up. He was like, yeah, bro, man, I'm a like, fan fuck of with basketball. Him. Yeah, and, man, fuck with him. And, yeah, I'm a fan of basketball, and he's like, he just invited him to come. Yeah, he, man, fuck with him. Yeah, that's yeah, wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's, wild. <laughs> That's got, the craziest in the world of it. It might say he fuck with you just because he like the way you hoop. Come over to my country that I don't let nobody in. And, and, and kick it. And, and, and they watch they him play kick basketball. It, bro. That's crazy to me, bro. And then this man was like, no, he's a great dude, bro. I'm telling you, this man really cool. But then two episodes <laughs> later, he talking about he finna blow up everybody. But Dennis Robert's like, no, 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 no. But listen, I can see where Dennis Robert coming from. Yeah. I mean, Have if we you not know a seen person, the interview? you know a person. <laughs> I saw the interview. I saw the interview. But look, others, no, like, but like, for real talk, real talk, fool, real talk. That's one of them situations to where like, Man, my boy got you literally out. cannot judge a book about his cover, fool. Who in who would have thought that this man right here would fuck with Dennis Rodman? Who <laughs> who wrote this book? How That's the wildest shit in the world. How bro. many people do you think he reached out to? And he, was he like the one that he reached out to a ton of people? And Rodman was like the one uh, that was like, mm, oh, yeah, maybe I that could be a possibility. It. It's probable. Yeah, That's probably like the most possibility. Like that makes sense. I ain't that even makes way it. more sense. He probably like started with like LeBron. He's trying to make like, a league. Fuck no. And he, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's probably what it is. He trying to make a league, bro. Come over and do this shit for us, man. Did this that makes more sense right there. That does make sense. Like, I was, yeah. I never thought about that. That's probably what it is. He probably went through right, a list and everybody up, said no, but Robin, I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'll do this eight shit. people. <laughs> got 29, got the Robin. Robin like, who? Yeah, 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 I'll pull up. Yeah, I'll pull up, cuz. Don't worry you about know, it. And Robin probably, boy, he was ready to get over there and turn up. Hell yeah. They ain't had nothing for his ass. Nothing, bro. You <laughs> see, what was that What was that movie fool with James Franco and um, <laughs> the interview? Nigga, God, I told damn. you the interview. The interview, the interview, the interview. <laughs> Bro, I remember that one scene for where they had you that one little grocery store. I saw the interview. I saw the interview. <laughs> I did, I know, man. See? Daddy Brian. See, bro. everybody gonna go Daddy back Brian. and see all Daddy we're gonna Brian. do all them rewinds. But anyways, <laughs> that was just one scene for we remember that they was in that like they showed that one grocery store. <laughs> Just fully stocked. Oh yeah, fully stocking. And the kid was like getting that and he went back to that bitch later. That bitch was all car, but he was so hurt. Too. He was hurt, bro. Oh, he man, was that man so was so sad. hurt. He was hurt, bro. That man was That so man was so hurt, bro. He went out there, no! <laughs> that shit was fun. Oh, man. Me. That shit was funny as hell. Yeah, that hey, that's a good one. That was one of my favorite movies, though. I ain't gonna lie. James Franco got some, got some classes. Dead Pineapple Express. I wouldn't even know they say because of James Franco. Because of the, because of Kim Jong. Yeah. That shit, that might have me dying. Yeah, that nigga was funny. Just off the real. <laughs> All right. Anyway, who else had me dying is people's comment section when they announced that the NFL will be partnering with Little Caesars. They are now the official pizza sponsor and they replacing Pizza Hut. This agreement offers Little Caesars a set of exclusive marketing rights design, designed to connect the brand with the NFL and its events and fans. I want to say first, you can think of all the jokes. I've seen the number one joke on that business <laughs> said, <laughs> Little Caesar finally out piece of the hut. Bro, I fucking lost it. That's funny. That's funny. That's a good one. <laughs> Little Caesar's out piece of the hut, bro. I fuck that shit had me weak. But anyway. Little Caesar's was your shit though. Man, yeah, back in what, college? Nah. Like, yeah, yeah, like high college. school, high school, high college. school college. That was your shit, bro. Little Caesar's. Five dollars. Yeah, seven ninety nine, seven twenty nine. That was the total, nigga. Cheese sticks <laughs> and a whole piece of for the fuck this shit up. What? <laughs> that was your yeah, shit. Yeah. That was your shit. 
But nah, I, I just think this is hilarious because I didn't know the seasons were popping like that. Like, they up, up. Steve? The third yeah, biggest yeah. pizza chain. Yeah, bro. In the, world, in the world. Yeah, bro, seasons up, cuz. The fuck? Fake pull these stats up. <laughs> I didn't believe it when I saw it. Hey, bro, bro, no. Bro, think, think about how, this way. They pizza how many, garbage. How many, how many seasons do you see versus, I'm talking about on, on blocks versus, like, Pizza Hut. Like, bro, you got to search for a Pizza Hut slick. There's damn near a little seasons no, by every. No, bro, no, I see bro. seasons everywhere There's, like, now. five in Murfreesboro. Well, five seasons? I think so. And Google. There might be more than that. Google how many uh, Pizza Hut's there are in, in Murfreesboro. It oh, just, it just compared to, two, like, two or three. We ain't got to do, we can do the whole country. Look, okay, there's a lot of little seasons right Dang there. It. In the island, like, a, a, a couple of mile radius. They not bullshit. Seasons popping up like, like McDonald's. Cause. Uh, pizza Hut, look at all these Pizza Hut, they get pizza, 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 pizza. I think there was more than uh. So you got you got twenty two. Right. Go back, go back to Little C's. I'm just curious now. Nah. Ah shit. But yeah, I I didn't, but so back to like I was saying, I did not know Little C's was popping all big bread like that. Shit. I did not know they were popping shit. <laughs> Honestly, they probably up right now because the pandemic shit niggas broke. So they raised their prices. Those... They, they, they ain't got the five dollar pizza no, no more. No, I don't think they have any pizzas that are five dollars. What? Well, that's that makes sense. Go back to McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's ain't got the dollar menu. Ain't got no, no dollar menu. It makes sense. Damn, bro. Uh, according to uh, according to Little Caesars website, they are the third largest pizza chain in the entire world. Shit. That's crazy. So they who probably the, got like a lot. Who? The, where Little Caesars came from? Who? Who? Who started? Because whatever state they came out of in that region is fucking Little Caesars. Oh, they've got Caesars at the top. <laughs> Whatever reason, Detroit, Michigan. Michigan, they got that bro. That bitch probably all through eight miles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> bitch on every corner, nigga. Tattoo to a liquor store. Oh man, that bitch up the over little, there. The little pizza pizza <laughs> man is up right now. He bro. what? That sign stay on too. You know that probably got twenty four hours, huh? Got to. Come on, bro. Hot and ready. Hell yeah. Hot and ready. The last time I ate one of them probably like twenty eighteen, but that shit was disgusting. I got one last week. Got a cheese pizza. No sauce on it. <laughs> How? How? It was just cheese and no food. <laughs> Trash. Ah! That's terrible, bro. Hey, that's, I why, I had, that's why I'm questioning how the fuck are they the third largest in the world, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's, what that's region funny. has got these boys on the like map? That. Yes. That's got to be that Detroit, yeah, middle, middle of America. Midwest. Yo, I'm not going to lie, though. In other countries, though, the Little Caesars, like, the menu is, like, completely different. It's like, it's like, you know how McDonald's That's how it is. Every, every year, look, McDonald's overseas yeah. got better shit. It tastes better, some, some yeah. people say. Um, Over there in, what is it, France, they call a uh, quarter pounder with cheese a, uh, what's it called? A uh, La Royale. I got that off of a uh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? You see, they closed down all the McDonald's all right, in Russia. Hey, there you go, there you go. They did what? Hey, Royale with cheese. The Royale. It's shit, quarter that pound. Shit. Yeah, quarter pound over that's there. That's what they Royale with cheese. Damn, so how, that's how they get weed? Let me get a Royale. Let me get a Royale. <laughs> <laughs> what you about to say, Caleb? They closed down all the McDonald's in Russia. And I don't know if y'all saw, oh, like, shit. earlier this week or late last week, they're reopening and they're just off-brand McDonald's. <laughs> It's like McDowell's. <laughs> That's been the joke they this whole it. time. But and they? now they're doing it. <laughs> they did it. My nigga McDowell's on made it. We made it in Russia. That's crazy. Okay, I expected that from something like China or something. To do something That's like crazy. That. So they shut down our McDonald's that and reopened them and just <laughs> yeah. changed the name. But Russia's some savages, fool. <laughs> they don't fuck with us at That's all. That's gangsta as fuck, bro. They don't fuck with America at all, fool. Did you yeah. know, like, uh, McDonald's, they own, like, the most land in the country? Oh, yeah, I believe that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard it, yeah. I, I, saw, um, I saw the founder. Yeah. yeah. They were, like, literally, like, he was like a, he was, like, a real estate guy, <laughs> for sure. He did buy all the land of all the all McDonald's. The McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, that's so smart. Smart as hell. Own, McDonald's owns, like, all the land and whoever... Owns that McDonald's, that location, just rinse it out. Facts, exactly. <laughs> like, so, like, Ray Kroc and his family, whoever, they, they own, own the, all property, the, the, the property. And they paying rent to them. Bro. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. Think about all the rent he getting paid, bro. That's a McDonald's damn near on every block for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real, bro. Facts. That's it. But, anyways, Nick Young uh, said Andrew Bonner was the worst dressed teammate he ever had. I believe that. Now, I didn't have some worst dressed teammates, but I want to say we're going to. Talk about obviously in the NFL. Now I want to say pre before it, it wasn't it wasn't always a thing for everybody to get fresh as hell before games. Yeah, I don't feel like I, that was coming. It wasn't like always. They, this nigga tripping. We had that shit on the Bruce Lee. 
That might yeah. be wild. Yeah, that shit was but, wild, uh, bro. Man, Braves was tight, though. Yeah, 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 That's when he got rid of the Bruce Lee. Uh, but that shit, that was wild. That was a wild time. <laughs> oh I don't God. really remember anybody that's just, like, always just, just be like, garbage as hell. But it's like something, you know, that, I, hey, he just don't care. Yeah. And it's like, what you gonna say to a nigga that just don't care? Nothing. There you go. Because you can't hurt their feelings. You can't. Yeah, it's a nigga, but I don't care. Okay. Like, shit, as long as that nigga gonna play football, we gonna still check his ass, but at least you know we having fun with it. Yeah. And we ain't like that shit. Like, but why you got that on? But at college, though, I used to hate when niggas go out to the bars and shit with the whole I'm fit on. Oh, my God, bro. You got the workout shoes on, the socks, too. You took the socks on? You need to wear the socks today? Damn, don't forget y'all socks. Yeah. It's lit, fool. Y'all ain't get socks? Nah. I ran track. I didn't care about us. See, <laughs> Memphis. <laughs> they ain't care about us. We, we got shoes. This might have on everything. You but bro, why you just ain't got? You got jeans, bro. You got some khakis or something, nigga. God damn, yeah. some dickies, bro. Something. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and do it. I, I think we've had this conversation before, but I, I want to have it again real quick. Who dresses better, football players or basketball players? That's two different worlds. I got it. Uh, is it most? Other than like your few Anthony Edwards, John Moran, most of them niggas are eccentric. They dress a little mm, eccentric. Yeah, because okay. I didn't want to say any of those words that I could I see, say. I see what you're saying. So I went with the more with PC you. word. I'm there with Y'all you. Y'all see my partner skills. Hey. <laughs> I'm with after you. after an hour, after one hour, eight minutes, I can finally get back on my shit from fucking with Alice earlier. I'm trying to think though. <laughs> so like real talk, like who really just be like fresh in the NFL though? What? I'm just asking. I'm asking. A lot like, of niggas be fresh in the See, like, look, uh, to be honest, I don't really watch the... Yeah, they the, don't show... Yeah, they don't show... They the don't really show we'll, it like well, that. Well, we so, like, get we it on is when we, niggas post it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's all the time. Like, they, yeah, they get all the... And plus, there's only a few of them that's come, like, getting showed anyway. Like, most of the Grizzlies players, they're probably wearing, you know, yeah. the tech suits to snag tech they do. To, to, to the game. They do. They don't really be getting all doing all that fresh shit. Some niggas, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, sometimes LeBron, they all do... They do the... They do their little Job fashion state. Uh, soft stuff, man. Let's see what job, who he dressed like. A motherfucking rapper, nigga. Yeah, money bag. You feel me? He dressed like a motherfucking rapper. That's how most niggas in the league, NFL, gonna dress like a motherfucking rapper. That's true. That's, we not gonna be eccentric. We gonna be, hey, we gonna wear the big ass chains on, nigga, have whatever yeah. T, the Burberry, the Louis Vuitton, I feel like or too, whatever. I feel like, too, in like an NFL, knowing that, like, I mean, and it's one like, game a week. That's why they be wearing all the night. This nigga playing every other night, my bad. Yeah. They playing every other night and shit. Yeah, they ain't got yeah. them, you know what I'm saying? They got their clothes, but they ain't finna be every day like put that. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to throw some shit on. So I get it why that's why we, you know what I'm saying? We gotta come in that bed fresh, get our pictures. I think yeah. NHL, they have to wear a suit and tie every game. For real? For real? Yeah. Damn. Pretty sure. Suit and tie. Every huh? single game. That sucks for them. It used to be like yeah. that in the NBA. Yeah. It was like that. I mean, back, especially back in the day, like, like early day, it was, everybody had to wear suits and ties and shit. I want to say like '80s for sure. Nah, nah, I feel like that rule got to say that like a, later. I mean, yeah, early it was, was uh, Iverson. Era. Yes, no, no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about like it was. This one they they enforced the uh, dress code uh, after Iverson. It was shit, after but. after the Malice in the Palace. So people they were yeah. all wearing suits though before the, like Magic Johnson them. They was wearing suits, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but like, it was like hot back then too, though. Like it was like there was the shit. Like niggas was trying well, to wear be suits. Business looks attires. Yeah, type. but like it was like I mean like but like like back then people was wearing suits to the club. You know what I mean? Like there was like yeah, a okay, thing. No, this nigga had on the meat. I don't know. That wasn't at the game. That wasn't at the club. Yeah, that, that was, that at, was at, 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 a, at a fight. But I'm talking about like oh, if yeah. like if like you were going to the club back in the day, folks, you they like back back in like the '80s, they was like put on suits. Yeah. They were wearing jeans and shit and tees and shit at the club. They were putting on the floor. They didn't even have tees. That was an undershirt, nigga. Man, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no white tee. That bitch was a white undershirt. <laughs> it was an undershirt. <laughs> or a long john. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. you know what the live is? Not the club. L-I-V. Oh, no. I was about to say the club. <laughs> Me too. So I saw the live versus the PJ. PJ Oh, is Liverpool. Bad. See, I didn't know what the fuck. Liverpool. No no, 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 no. What the, that's, that's, what the fuck are you talking about? No, See, bad, be quiet. See, nah. interrupted me. See? My fault. Live. I saw Live versus PGA and the PGA uh, whole com not community, PAG PGA upstairs people are mad at the Live golfers that's going over to Live and say they're rebelling against the, the most dominant shit, blah, 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 blah. I thought that shit was gangster because Live, when I saw Live, I said, yes, I was like, is. These niggas went to the club instead of Oh, so this is like golf. another league? There's, yeah. a, club. There's okay. a club in Miami called Live. So on Sunday, yeah, on I don't know if you ever heard, heard of Wayne. Heard of, okay, heard. good. Magic, Magic City, though. 
Nigga, that's Monday. a whole different city. That's a whole different city. It's a song, bro. Sing a song for it. Live on Sunday. <laughs> King of Diamond Monday. King of Diamond Monday. See, Monday. you just gonna start saying shit. Anyway, this, so you said like, it's like you a see what I'm saying, yeah. people? This was up. Like, where, where, like, where's the league at? Saudi Arabia. So, ooh, that's, that's why, why they're going it's to that motherfucker. Unlimited money. That's that's the only reason. Oh, doing PGA just hey, yeah. yeah. PGA okay. doesn't have to pay the golfers. They only have to pay the people that win. Yeah, that's right. Like that's if right. if so you, they pay all like golfers that come, they still getting some type of bread. Or if you don't do good, you pay your hotels, your caddy, every you got to pay for everything yourself. Live. I mean, <sighs> they tried giving Tiger like what almost a billion dollars to go over there. And Tiger said no. Nigga, I would hop on that jet. Right. What? He is already a billionaire though. You only make, you know, yeah, it's probably different for him. Yeah. Well, shit, fuck that nigga, Billy. I was going to add that on my resume, nigga. Hell yeah. Jay, so this is anxiety, right? So, so, so like, even if you don't win, you will get, like, a check for coming to, like, freaking I think, fourth place, fifth place. You No, no, no. If you come in last, I think the least you can make, I think I saw was, like, $75,000. Go ahead. Damn. Go back up. So, what? let's see. Uh, the roster of 48 players for the weekend tournament includes many players from Asia t- Tour as well as as amateurs, damn. But also 11 players who have racked up at least eight figures in prize money on the PGA Tour. Mickelson, currently ranked 72 in the world, wins golfer in the in the field, has won six majors, 45 tours, has 95 million prize money. Blah, blah, blah. All right, there you go, right there. Live the. Hold on. Oh, shit. He gonna pull in in comparison to the roughly 200 million that Mickelson reportedly were received by simply joining Liv. God damn, that paycheck should bring his career earnings to one billion, over one billion, including endorsements. Bruh, this man said, hold on, you did 45 of them hoes in the PJ. Came 45. over with 95 million. That's cool. And they said pull up. This nigga said for the one time on the opening, we're gonna give you 200 of them guys. And you 40, you, you, you one of 48 that we finna break off. That's insane. So that's a lot of money over there. Man. Yeah, that's a lot of oil money. In the press conference yeah. earlier this week, players were asked about Saudi Arabia's human rights record and the extent to which their decision to join the Saudi-backed tour was motivated by money. Several golfers were fairly direct in admitting cash was a factor. God damn right, nigga. I mean, duh. The fuck? I ain't gonna lie about it. <laughs> you see the writing on the wall. <laughs> wow. In the PGA Tour hating, huh? Oh, what if they open well, up that you shit, know they hey, come on, bro. They the old shit. They been getting off their shit. They, like you said, they ain't have to pay nobody. That's they true. just they collect their money from all the people that's gonna come and Friends, hold PGA, your PGA and all that, all yeah. that shit. So they gonna collect their bread and they gonna pay what you said the top three. No, I think they pay. I just think, the I think the winner. Just, oh yeah, just, just I think they just have to pay the winners. That's the live is paying everybody. That's crazy. Yeah, hey, if you golf out there, get yeah, you avid listen to Raw Room. Take your ass over to live. <laughs> Man, what? Sorry, Get your baby, money, baby. That's huge. That is dope. Thanks. I I was um, it's just so crazy, bro. When I think about amateurs, even in any sport, bro, you can get a bag just about anywhere if you really about that. I just this is the one thing I I, I be wanting like just like to like remind athletes out there, yo, like look, if you don't make it in a certain league like the one here, like. The dream ain't over, especially if there's like a bag, a bag involved. Cause you can go somewhere to get a bag for sure. Any, I mean, it's cut you all over the world. You get a bag from. Well, we got another big money shit going on. Well, she big money herself, Serena Williams. She back up at the uh, Wimbledon after one year absence. She you know, got seven of them bitches anyway, but they uh, granted her. I forget what it's called. Basically, like she didn't apply in time, and so she uh, they let her come in anyway. Okay. Of course, you got to Serena, Serena Williams, Williams. The fuck, but yeah. it's a wild card invitation. Oh, okay, what? wild card invitation. Yeah, okay. go wild card invitation. Dope. So shout out to her. Do your thing. Shout out to go ahead. Show them what you do. while you the right. greatest? Yeah, she's still the goat, baby. All right, let's go ahead. And take it to goddamn Montreal. Uh, let's do Montreal's it. Montreal's hell. So I ain't even really see. I ain't read this one. I did. We got him, but he facing some drug charges. He was actually, he was in Kentucky, wasn't he? He faced a felony drug charge. That's authority said they found a vacuum sealed bag of marijuana in his car during the traffic stop. Harold was pulled over in Richmond, Kentucky. State trooper May 12th for driving behind the vehicle too closely. Uh, the trooper said he smelled marijuana and <laughs> after a search discovered three pounds of marijuana in the vacuum sealed bag inside a backpack in the back seat. Harold's been charged with trafficking less than five pounds of marijuana. If convicted on that count, he could face up to five years in prison. He is scheduled for preliminary hearing. July. Damn. Jesus. 
If it was vacuum seal, why you smell that shit, nigga? The fuck? <laughs> vacuum seal, you use it. I mean, they probably. Hey, he has some in his pocket. He he uh, gave some up. I guess that was in his pocket. Oh, uh, that what you fucked up at? Cause now they gonna just now they got authorized authority to search your shit. Okay, so yeah, you just if you gonna if you, I mean they smelled the weed anyway, so they already got probable cause to search your shit anyway. Even, even him giving to it wouldn't matter. But yeah, so see, I didn't even know shit. that. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, they smell. If, if they if they smell it, they, they give them problem. problem. They, they don't even have to smell it. They can just say they smell it. I mean, basically. that too. Yep. So, basically, that too. It doesn't matter. It's just that's nothing. definitely true. So yeah, you know, that's a couple how... of things that I thought were interesting about the story was he got pulled over initially because he was following a car too, too close. Closely. Yeah, I saw that. The fuck and then that also, mean? this thing happened over a month ago, so this isn't even like new. Oh, I oh, hate wow. when that shit be happening, bro. Somebody got somebody 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 got the article. You all know how that is. Though. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. Like you, sad, you, it, yeah, like they they found an article. Yeah, but now the man court day's coming up though, so that's yeah. You know, damn, bro. I, hope, I mean, I hope it, man. Yeah, yeah, I hope I mean, he's straight, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope he wasn't really distributing those three. I hope those personal packs. Yeah, could then, be. I'm. I ain't gonna say that, but I will say, you know, I mean, he says up to five, even if you. No, he, was, he he if he, he would have over five, he only had three pounds, so that he getting hit with some, uh, uh, a lot. trafficking under five pounds. Yeah, a nice little fine, I think. So that that's what I'm thinking. Hell, I didn't see a nigga that just that's he about that's locked in. up now. This nigga had 157 pounds on him, and all he had to do was pay a lot. He had to pay some fines, but he didn't do no time, and he was crossing in Texas. <laughs> they just want the money though, counties. It goes straight to the county. Yeah. What uh, county is this in? Richmond, Kentucky? Where is that? Richmond, in? yeah, wherever the fuck is that. Up, Probably right up. in the middle. Huh? Probably right in the middle. Right in the middle. Somewhere. You know, I just learned, but Sweet just educated me on my Amish community. Oh, yeah. Last another day, we was at the, <laughs> at the little restaurant. But I ain't like, I ain't know the Amish were. I knew they was, I thought they were like Ohio or some shit. Or, they might be in Ohio too, but. Yeah, they probably are. I, but I ain't know that they were hefty right up the street from us. Right the street, I, I want to pull up on them folks. Hey, what's up, bro? I know y'all ain't got the phone or nothing, but hey, if you ever know somebody, just tell them listen to the wrong, bro. Just like, they gonna be able to. They can tell them that. But they can they... come to the live show only. Yeah, basically. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like they won't be able to listen to it. I know, I know, I know. I know. But anybody but they, they can, know. They could listen to it, but like, hey, can you just play it for me? Yeah. Yeah. If they pull up to somebody's like, hey yo, I heard about this I heard about <laughs> Why he didn't drove. He what? driving around here with a flag on the back that say "Raw Room" on his truck. Yeah, that's me. I'm just slide down. <laughs> this is the Raw Room. I'm a street. I fuck with y'all, bro. Yeah, man. Y'all right like the, the FLDS. <laughs> Robert Street. Where you moved from Louisville? Uh, I was in Were you like young, fifth young? grade. Okay, all right. So, fifth grade. Right. So, so did you? But did you ever see like? In the Amish community around there? In you... Louisville? No. no. Yeah, well, not, not, I know, not, I know they're not in Louisville, but I'm saying, you, you, I'm sure y'all travel other parts of Kentucky. Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, when she was five, so she... Not really. I remember that. Oh, shit. They, oh five? Oh, yeah, you didn't remember that. Five at that point. But yeah, no, they, feel. the Amish, they are definitely out there, man. They got well, shout out to the Amish, man. Y'all ever hear this, bro? Just get to you. I fuck with y'all for real. For sure. For sure. Uh, there was a Warriors fan that sneaked into the court the other day, dressed like Clay Thompson. He just shot that he was at shoot around, and uh, <laughs> the Warriors banned him for life. What's crazy is he been he's been to he's been, a, he, plenty of games. They ain't spent plenty of money on tickets up in there. Yeah. be front row, bro. That slick green that they did. I think that that's green as fuck. Cause like he spent plenty. Nigga, of money, that is bro. your fault that you let this nigga get through there. Like that's. Like, but we had this conversation about people just wearing their hoop and clothes and shoes around. Like, niggas don't do it. <laughs> like that's how that's how I know y'all niggas ain't never played no sports. And you don't wear your hoop and shit around your footbills. This man got wet. his whole Let's jersey. Let's get a dog today, Clay. Come on, the man came straight from his car. You think he ain't come to go have to like go put his clothes on the locker room? That's crazy that he that he Yo, went and he got that Clay, Clay famously bikes to the arena. He does, like, he does, he does um, bike series. Yeah. Yes, Helmet yes. Everything. Even I got schooled on that when I was talking shit about them doing uh doing the, the Grizzly series. That I shit, do that. That shit crazy that he went all the way out. This nigga there. got out of an Uber and walked in that hole. And get, oh my God, bro. And there's no players out there. So y'all could have y'all should have been known like these niggas are even not here or in the locker room. What? 
Hey, well, maybe he was like, I, well, I think Clay's gonna put up some, a couple of buckets. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess so. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo. He got a plenty of shots. Plenty bro. of shots. And, and like, he was making them hoes too, though. That man, Buddy was there too, recording. Recording, the like, day. and y'all not noticing this nigga with a fucking personal camera. You have to have a whole tag on to have a camera. You do, don't you? A vest, a whole vest of your company that you work for, and a tag. Damn. So like, this that say, that say, say what type of access you got. Okay, so the question. So like, if like if like I'm rolling with you to a Titans game, and I got like my shit out, I, and I'm rolling you. with you to uh, anywhere, they gonna give you one of them. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. He'll go. Oh, you wait. You wait right here till you get back. If your if your pass only get you so far. Now I have had one person, one thing only finesse. But he did that shit back in 2017. It was little. Off Mike Tame had did it, bro. So like a figure. I, listen, I don't know how I don't know how he did, but I just know he did it. He was able to get. Down the field and record me with a camera. That was on YouTube when I was doing the uh, when I did the shit. For real. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga finessed that. I don't know how he did it. But he, he got did. down that bitch. So I'm telling you, like, y'all <laughs> folks is tripping, bro. Like, how I got it, bro. Oh, it's not it. That ain't on me, bro. Hey, I'm I hate a phone. Now I'm sure fake, I mean, real clay probably be like, oh, that's that's fucked up. Or nah, he probably nah, if I'm for fake, if I'm real clay, I, I probably don't like that. Cause that can, why? Why? Yeah. Tell me why. Tell me why. Oh, tell maybe me why. I'm looking too far, like with the 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 fake Dirk and the the fake Drake. Okay, that can get ugly. But that's a different type of world. I understand. That's, yeah, yeah. But people crazy though. They are. That nigga could have probably wanted. I don't know. I don't know. But that's just. I don't know. I think maybe if Clay go talk to him, he's cool after like that nigga don't look that nigga like Hito Turgaloo. That nigga don't look like shit like Clay. <laughs> he do look like <laughs> That nigga like Turgaloo, bro. He do look like Turgaloo, bro. You know who Hito Turgaloo is? No. I knew you yeah, did, he right, 23 year old yeah, ass nigga. Way for your time. <laughs> Hito Turgaloo was one of the coldest shooters for the Magic's, the Kings. That motherfucker used to rip yeah. that hoe. Hell yeah, yeah Tur- when, That nigga look just like Turgaloo, bro. Why? That was when like the Kings had goddamn. Bro, you can't click on the food. <laughs> nah, I was doing this, nigga. Oh, I'm at CC. Kill that, boy. That man do like like man, though. He look just like that, man. I do like Turk. I saw someone uh, tweeted, and man. they said, well, the guy that got arrested, he's like, he does way more for the community. He gives out a ton more money. And I was like, how do you know that? About the dude that yeah, got they're, like, well, they're like, why did he get banned? He gives out way more money. Bruh. People are wild. People, bro. yeah. It just, they don't even make no sense. They don't. <laughs> he said like, he gives him way more money. Yeah, he's like, but he's a better like, person. But you, but you can't do you can't that. Do that yeah. <laughs> Just because he gave money, I mean, you cannot do that. That's 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 wild though. But shout out to him though, man. They shout out to him, bro. Thanks for the content, homie. Have you seen Hustle? Speaking of basketball, yes, I have. Great. Have you seen that movie on Netflix? Yeah. Dang, you haven't seen it yet. It's an Adam Sandler movie. Uh, first of all, Adam Sandler's been knocking him out the park these he last couple really of years. He really has. He has. Ever since he said fuck the who like Grammys, Oscar, whoever said he said fuck it too, and he dropping all his shit on uh platforms. That's what he's been doing. And this is another one of the platform uh movies, uh another sports movie. This time is a whole different vibe. Actually, I don't want to say Uncle Jim's like the sports movie, it just it was a period of time that involved some sports. Mm. Uh I mean, it's a sports movie. You would say Young Cut Jones is a sports movie? Oh, my bad. You talking about... No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, I even, said... No, I had said he'd been oh, doing fault, another fault, yeah. sports movie, but then I was like, All right, I want to say Young Cut Jones is yeah. a sports movie. It just involves sports. It didn't involve But sports. this is a sports movie, yes, and it's also about, obviously, hustling and yeah. getting to where you got to get. Yeah, it's great. I, I fuck with this movie, bro. I fuck with it. One thing that I like about just Happy Madison Productions Fool is like, hey, bro, uh, bro. One thing about I know about Sam Fool, he like, that man plug in fool, uh, and he put his phone bro. on. Hey, that's why I fuck with this nigga. I he put his own people on. Yes, at, bro. At movie after movie after movie after time after time, and like you said, he plugged in, but he be getting all these people just yeah. Get, off, off just the strip of he just Adam Sandler, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I think that that's why I fuck with his shit no more. And I, now, these, man, I fuck with his shit, but that's why I, I like him. And I hated that little ball head bitch. But yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> he was annoying as fuck. Anthony Edwards in this hoe was fire. He was. Hey, that was, that was fire. That was, a, that, that was a great, that, that was a great casting great, choice. Great, bro. Ed was talking his shit earlier. <laughs> hey, I fuck with that shit. What do you say? I'm the matador, you the bull. Hell yeah. Baby's out there talking cash. Cash bro. money shit. Oh, he saying the daughter was it. Oh, he oh, lit bro. his ass up. I was like, yeah, that. That seemed like yeah, shit yeah, Anthony Edwards would do. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it do. It that do. seemed like some shit Ant would do. Watch the movie and say, I know what we're talking about. Yeah, watch probably, the movie. You'll see, man. This is... Somebody said that uh, Brock is the only dude that can save the Celtics right now. <laughs> 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 
No, Bo, nigga. I mean, Bo Cruz. Yeah, Bo Cruz. Bo Cruz. That shit sound like nigga. a default NBA 2K name. Yeah, man. yeah, nigga. I'm creating the Bo player. Cruz. Bo Cruz, man. Nah, but what you feel about the... I mean, I know it was What's NBA up? players playing basketball in a movie. Mm-hmm. But how did you feel about the the basketball that was shown when it came to Anthony Edwards and, you know, real about NBA players? I like, like how I, did they act? Like you, think you mean like act or like like the actual game? Make like it seem game. like it was real competitive I, competition, bro. Like honestly, I mean, they did a every play that they had did a hell of a job. Cause I, I felt like I was at the combine mm-hmm. yeah, watching yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I mean, um, even like the little sneaky like you know secret pickup games, the street mm-hmm. ball shit. It, like it, all the basketball. Felt I felt real. the sneak, the street ball shit, but all oh, that shit felt real to me. I, I feel, yeah. I feel like I mean, like I mean, fool, like Edwards would get that's, his that's, shit off. He was yeah, windmilling. This, this was the open gym too. That's why yeah. niggas do play like that. Open that's gym how they play runs. open gym. Yeah, yeah open gym runs yeah. and shit. Like yeah. I feel like I feel like as far as just basketball movies go with players that are involved in it. I mean, this is one of the better ones I've seen as far as like, the actual play goes. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. honestly, I'm trying to think. Like, we, we we saw, like, Mike that had players in it. We saw... Uh, yeah, but that was more of a kid and moving. They weren't really doing too much. They were doing more animated. This nigga out here working out. Yeah, that man. Like, they been working out, touching, doing the real workout. It was workout very realistic, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I mean, honestly, I know that, I, I mean, Salah, he did research, but like, he went, to, he, he went to, yo, how, what do y'all do? He did, he did real shit with it. He did real yeah. shit with it. But I thought it was fire, though. I thought it was fire. Like, everything that he did. I mean, bring in the Kenny Smith, bro. All this, bro. Everything about really this show was fire. He really ain't acting out of the whole role. In Doing his yeah. thing, bro. Doing his thing. Um, I will say one thing that... Go ahead. I will say one thing that, like, I, I, I like about this show. It, it does kind of shed a light on... And I was, I was talking to my wife about this, bro. It really shed a light on, bro. Making it in... The association, and maybe it's like this in the NFL base. You, you, you tell me if, if I'm, I'm wrong. But in the association, you can be the most talented dude in the world, but if you don't know the right people to get on, you're not making it to the league. I, I just, I just feel that way. Like you can be the most talented guy. Like literally, that guy right there. Like you know, the main character. He was a beast. I mean, he was a cold dude. But no one would have known if this top freaking recruiter. You know, Man, discover. Yeah. Now, I don't want. I don't want like tell like the whole movie, but like the the uh, premise I'm trying to get across is um, network. Like in this day and age, it ain't like how back in the day, like in the early '90s and 2000s, where like you know, I mean, people were sending tape and like skills had a lot to do with it. And in this day and age, bro, everybody cold, bro. Everybody is cold. Everybody got skill set. Everybody got potential. Everybody got all that type shit. Mm-hmm. You got to know the right people. Your attitude got to be right. You gotta be media trained already. Like it's it's certain intangibles that I think like these are organizations. Correct me if I'm wrong. That they they looking for before before they even look at. You. Oh yeah, facts, facts, facts. Before they, do they a even background bring, check like a job would do. They yeah. do a whole background check. Like they, they want to see all of that before they even like give you a shot. Like all right, let me see his resume. Real talk. Let me mm-hmm. see his resume. What he about? Where he from? Da 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 da. Yep. Uh, I can't even tolerate that, bro. He he that may probably lie. he probably been be the most cold dude in the world, but. Um, that's one thing that I did. I noticed about that, man. Like, I just feel like I ain't trying to kill nobody hoop dreams, but uh, I always feel like, yo, like there's 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 different parts to this now. Social media has helped out a lot. I like how they incorporated it that out. in there. It did, oh, yeah, yeah, it did, it did because yeah. it's like, yo, like mm-hmm. I, 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 I at least I gotta get like a buzz. I need somebody to see me. If I get like two thousand, three thousand, I feel like that's another thing people think because they, oh, I went viral, shit. I want the coaches gonna see it. Them niggas, bro, your coaches ain't looking at that shit. Facts. That's true. That's true. That That's true. But if you get the right person to create a buzz to go they on an ESPN they and show, say, show, but no, nah, it do be having like some. I don't know if I've seen like younger coaches, but hey, coach, watch this nigga tape and there'd be some shit off social media. They be, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like go check him out. I know that happened, but mm. I mean, but it's rare. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, it it is, it is. But it was dope though, man. Shout out to Happy Madison the uh, Productions for fuck with y'all, nigga. One more, one, one last thing we talked about this yesterday. Yeah, we did. Exit. Keep sweet, it's pray and too. obey. Have you seen that? Okay. Let's see what? Keep, Keep sweet, sweet, pray, and obey. Pray and obey is on Netflix, no. the documentary. You all give too many recommendations to actually watch. Do we? Yeah. We do? You, you all Thanks, talk bro. about so much stuff. That's great. That because I don't now, think anyone has time to actually watch all of it. I understand. Man, just make a, list, not, make, make a list, fool. Yeah, make a list. Yeah. We'll, start we'll from help top. y'all make a list. Well, yeah, I'll I'll be doing you have the shit I watch. But <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, we, y'all just start writing the shit down. When you hear me say it, then that way you can... When we drop the clip, 
Damn, you got some. You know what the fuck you know going, what's going on, going on, man. But I appreciate the feedback. Though. Well, I'm going to tell y'all. FLDS. This is keep sweet, pray, and obey. The what's the the first the F stand for? Uh, I don't know, but I, fundamentalists I know of Latter Day Saints. Of Latter Day Saints. Yeah. Now, this brother right here, you know, was one of their prophets, the son of the first prophet that. Roland, Roland, I think his name was. He passed away. So there, boom, he came up, and they just started going from way from religion vibes to cultish vibes, mm-hmm. and yeah, it got real disgusting, to say the least. Yeah, I don't want to give it away. I want everybody to go see it if you want to. Uh, yeah, I can't get a little. It's, it's, some, it's some trigger warning shit, you know. Definitely some trigger shit. I will say, like I said, I'm not. We ain't gonna talk about the doc, but like it's just one of those things where when we was talking about you coming back from, uh, oh yeah, I mean, I'm sliding through Utah. Yeah, and, and it's it's just nothing out it's there. It's nothing. Bro. It's nothing out like, there. Like in those states, Utah, North Dakota, South, like Montana and shit. This shit is literally. Yeah, there's some pockets in there, but it's like. You look up the, the population, fifty thousand in the in the something that's supposed to be a big city. Mm. Like this, fit, that's it. So mm. you know everything else around that bit, two thousand people, a yep. thousand. Now Small. we going to three hundred. Now I didn't pass. I passed plenty of them bitches in Montana, Wyoming, and Utah. Mm. Population five hundred, two thousand twenty. And they're like, whoa, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not stopping there, buddy. Those little small groups like that, bro, I can see how this type of thing can happen because it's like, yo, you can... It's hard to control 2,000, 3,000 people. But, but you got like 500 and you take out no, but they TVs had more than that, though. you take out... Well, I mean... They had, they were living there. They, were li- they had a couple hundred kids. They did. They had like a they did. thousand people. But, but they... But then it's a bigger history, community, though. though. Like, it's a bigger than, like, just them, the church. Like, they have a whole, you know, people out here that's got to work over there. They still FLDS. They just don't... They're not living inside the the actual community, home, but they yeah, That's but they still can get they they daughter. Like remember when brother said his, he, yeah, he still he didn't even live over there. He lived yeah. his own spot. Yeah, he right. was, nah, ain't nobody coming over here to my daughter eighteen. She, yeah, fact, yeah. exactly, bro. Shotgun, cut. There, there was kind of a cult church in uh, oh, Brewer. Yeah, bro. Well, we don't they, we talked about that. They shit. talked about, 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 about the uh, way down. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we talked about that's that. Crazy. That was yeah, that's crazy. That was off. That was, that was more that was more that was more like <laughs> That um, was off of, of uh, religious extremism. I will I will call that versus like I mean it was definitely a cultish thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the thing about like like that the the type of cult that we are talking about in this doc, I mean that shit had it was crime, it was, nigga. That was uh, See, because like they, it, it was it was one of those things to where like you are literally raising a generation a, uh, yeah. that don't know nothing about nothing. Like they didn't have TV phones, they couldn't leave None off of the that. premises. Yeah, like they don't they yeah, don't know. They want to actually control the real mind. Like yeah. they ain't even giving them a choice. It's like yo, I just grew up like this. I thought this was normal. Yeah, type of stuff. But like the way down though, I mean it was it still had, uh, you know Remnant had like some some cultish vibes. I just yeah. felt like it was more like a religious extremism or like some weird yeah, shit. Like, this oh, was this yeah. Weird, yeah. this definitely cult. There was once yeah. religion. Now that John just got all yeah straight just, cultish. It went there. It went there. It, it went there. Yeah, he moved. They didn't move the whole whole people. But I took people, kids, and was moving our states away, nigga. Yeah, sure, like, that shit was crazy. And building that, man, yeah, that, y'all gotta check this shit out. It's crazy. I told you I'd be on these docs. You gotta just write them down, fill them out, put them in your in your memory bank, and then we'll just keep a list on the website. Yeah, we gonna start keeping a list, man. Cause I know we talk about a lot of shit, but Hell yeah. Caleb, I want you to, before we get up out here, tell the people where they can find you. I know some people might want to come follow your shit and probably might think you're funny or something. All my social media is Caleb, K A L E B dot V N. It's all of pulled it. up right under him. You got a nice truck there, my boy. I like that thing right there. Clean. Um, sweet. You want to tell the people where they can find you? Nah, nah, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Wait, we appreciate y'all for tuning in this episode. It's been another one. Uh, I know the first forty-five minutes kind of got a little spicy. You know, it was it was something. You know, I didn't know if we were gonna make it through this whole episode. I didn't know if I was just gonna just close everything down and say, "All right, everybody go the fuck." Home. Oh, bro, we gonna never quit. Nah, come on, nah, they ain't, they ain't no, they ain't no quitting these bones. I'm potting, man. Ain't no quitting these. These people know better than I think. Damn, basically. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, man. Hey, look, look. Don't 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 buy no do no stupid shit. All right? Yeah, I'm man. talking about like put Juneteenth on some cheesecake or something like they they know, did some stupid shit. Juneteenth watermelon. Did I see somebody do that? I don't, I don't know. Say I did. That was Juneteenth ice cream that we talked. Nah, about. we did. I know. 
I know the ice cream, but I want to Now, watermelon swear. fucked up now. I want I promise you, I want to... That's, that's all. I want to say they put it, like, on a package and that bitch said, like, Junty. I ain't going to say what store. I think it... I don't know. <laughs> it was a children's museum. Told that you. Had a Juneteenth uh, watermelon. There style. was. Told you that. Hey, Juneteenth watermelon at the children's museum and where where they at so we can make sure we don't go to this children's museum. In Indianapolis. Okay. That Indianapolis. Makes sense. Nap Town. That makes sense. Indiana. That makes sense. Yep. So. That makes sense. Yeah, wow. Let's not buy none of this bullshit out here. See? Who approved that? <laughs> <laughs> who? Who be like, no, we're going to put a watermelon stand. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, that's fine. That, 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 they, I, they'll think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I put it to somebody come over there and throw that. There was a salad too, Juneteenth salad. A watermelon salad. It was a whole Juneteenth watermelon salad. I do like watermelon salads, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Now you just playing to the stereotype of the people's hands, bro. You could just lie and say, fuck that shit. Nah, I ain't no lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. We appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. This has been another episode. This is that gumbo. You already know what it is. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Hey, easy. If you have something to say and need a place to help you say it, check out the boys at the Raw Room Media Group to get information on recording the session. Appreciate y'all for listening. Hey, follow us. Follow us at the Raw Room, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at Wesson underscore Sun 56 on Instagram. On Twitter, DB underscore 5 Trey. Follow your boy, JC. Uh, Jcar underscore 11, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Jcar underscore 32. Uh, and the, the raw room is at raw underscore underscore room. Roomies, we appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. We'll tune in for your next week. Easy. Easy.